Turn around, I feel the breeze over me. You watch your dreams unfold. Let it come around and let it breathe over me. It's time to go away into the Take a chance and let you in Just take my hand and take me home tonight We defeat all impossibilities Yeah, you and me We'll take our hearts and run free into the world Welcome, College Esports fans, the Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers, 
Overwatch Tuesdays. I'm excited to announce that we're well into our rivalry week. It is week eight of the Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers regular season play here for the different esports titles we showcase for you tonight. Once again, is Overwatch. My name is Jake Superman Mori. You can catch me on Twitter, Twitch, and the like at the handle Superman Casting. And casting alongside me this evening is none other than Zader himself. Yep. Welcome again, like you said, to Pack G. It's very exciting to have Overwatch today. You guys saw League of Legends, I believe, yesterday. And that was pretty exciting. ASU taking that one over. Really, really strong performance. We'll see them later this evening. Speaking of which, let's take a look at that schedule for tonight's matches. Again, this is for Overwatch. Oregon v. Stanford will be our first matchup of the evening, followed by Arizona versus Arizona State. Yeah, so Oregon and Stanford. That's going to be a really interesting match. Both of these teams coming in with an 0-2 score. These guys are very, very important. This, this match is very important to them because whatever team wins goes to the playoffs. So this is very, very important for these two teams to win this game, and I think we're going to see a lot coming out of these guys. Yeah, both have struggled throughout the regular season, but coming here into the final week of regular season play, they have a tied score. So as Zader said, whoever wins the matchup between Oregon and Stanford this evening will move on to the playoffs. Let's take a look at the standings for the North Division. This is what we're starting off with this evening. Yeah, I mean, Overwatch has been very contentious, but Utah has remained undefeated at the top there, followed closely by Colorado, who's only dropped a few games here and there, the one match overall. And as you can see, completely tied in match and game score for Oregon and Stanford. And the top three teams out of their division will move on to the playoffs with a semifinal bye being given to first seed. So you'll see, because of that tied score between Oregon and Stanford, whoever wins the match of this evening, it's all on the table right now. It really is all on the table, and uh, you know you can place your bets if you'd like to on which team here is going to uh, is going to get is going to go and make it. But all I know is that actually player rosters have changed uh, for Oregon a lot. Uh, we're going to see some new players that we haven't seen before uh, or haven't seen recently. Uh, they they've they've uh, they've really improved a lot I think with Oregon as I've been talking to them. Some subs being changed out. Let's take a look at the lineups. Uh, I think you mentioned that as well that there's some changes to maybe the coaching staff for Oregon. They're putting, uh, doubling their efforts at least, putting a little bit more weight behind their roster. You can see for Oregon we got Robo, Robo Crab on support with the double tanks and Jojo Beans and Hand Socks and then double DPS Concept and Asian Sensation with Chang as the flex and of course you got your substitutes Irk, Dave M and Kerfluffle. I yeah. like that name. Yeah, really, really good roster for Oregon and Stanford here. We have the two supports, Atlas and Ace of Base, also Tail Toxie there on the bottom, the both support mains. We got Corky as your dedicated tank, uh, a uh, AXD6, AXD6 uh, as your flex player, Shimmix on your dedicated DPS. We're going to see him on Widow most likely a lot of this match. Substitute players being Dinosaurs and Progital Sun. Yeah, it's should be pretty good. Uh, very different. Uh, at least spread of roles for these two schools. Uh, you mentioned how Oregon has been swapping out some players, looking right. to bring those subs in, um, maybe find their rhythm when it comes to the compositions that they like to run. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm really excited because there is so much riding on this match, Zader. Oregon v. Stanford, both of them have been struggling so hard be, uh, throughout this season, but coming into now the final week of regular season play, they have a chance to make the playoffs. Just one really last chance. chance, and it is between these bottom two teams. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this, uh, this match. And our next match, of course, is going to be even more exciting as it's Arizona State versus Arizona, which is honestly one of the longest rubbing rivalries uh, for schools that, I mean, in history almost. Yeah, I mean, 1899 is when the Duel in the Desert be, uh, became a thing in uh, traditional sports. We'll talk more about that when we get to ASU versus Arizona later this evening. But let's take a look at the maps uh, that we have set up. We're starting off with Numbani. I like that split objective. It's a lot of fun to see um, because you have a variety of compositions for both parts of the map. Um, it'll be, I'm curious, actually, what Oregon will bring. Yeah, you're going to see a lot of switches. Uh, so normally when you're attacking that first control point, trying to capture that point just so you can start pushing the payload, most likely you're going to see a little bit more dive or kind of a more slow push composition. Um, it, you know, it kind of depends on how those teams kind of like to roll. Uh, and then once they capture that point, you'll, uh, you'll most likely see them switch, uh, you know, kind of to a more static composition or still stay on dive. 
Uh, it really depends on what these teams really want to do. But you'll, it, you know, it, it really varies on what these teams are going to try to do. So we're not going to, we're, we're most likely going to see dive. That's just, that's almost standard. Yeah, it's really difficult not to run dive because there's already like a free level of high ground right. given to defense on the first capture point. Uh, I always find it interesting that uh, tanks almost become uh like they just lollygag in that first point on defense. You either hold the the they corridor. Kind of flankers. Yeah, they in, become in flankers way. in a way that you either hold that corridor or you try and uh, like if you're Roadhog, you try and get a hook on some cheeky uh, DPS that's trying to play a little too far forward. Right, right. Yeah. So Roadhog, actually, I'm glad you mentioned that. We actually might see a Roadhog in this map. You don't see Roadhog too too much, uh, really, uh, in these in kind of these tournament plays and professional play because he's not he's not as useful as he really could be uh you know uh, you have winston and diva who are just really strong tanks You've why got... what is the niche for him tell our viewers a little bit more why why is it that roadhog just only comes out in specific maps and specific points it's because you really he relies on that hook and it, he relies so much really on that hook that that if you don't land it it really it halts you for, you know, another 10 seconds where you have to kind of sit around and blah, right? And But you're also missing a lot of shield. You're missing a lot of, uh, you know, uh, just utility that you can get out of people like Winston and D.Va where they can put a shield down or they can suck up, you know, projectiles or cancel out ultimates and uh, and, and whatnot. So th those two tanks are just so, they have so much utility in them that Roadhog kind of slips kind of backwards because he doesn't really have too much of a shield all he really has is that hook and you know he can sit there and, and heal himself but and his I mean, health pool isn't even much to speak of when you look at other tanks right i mean it's 600 uh but you know but again that 600 health the health pool doesn't really matter when he doesn't really have anything to protect himself other than he's fat I mean, the heal, like, especially the heal is like the one thing that people will be like, yeah, but he has that massive self heal. You're like, yeah, and it CCs himself for the duration. Right. And if you're running healers in your composition, then when are you actually going to need it? When it, what does it really make that difference? Mm -hmm. You almost have to like be drain tanking to bait something with it. And the situations in which you can have that happen are so slim, so nuanced, so random that you can't rely on that as a mechanic to help your team do anything to, uh, like, to objectively make your team composition better right. in a variety of situations. So, yeah, I like that you mentioned that Roadhog, while a strong uh, pick perhaps for this particular part of this map right. in this game, not really one that we see often. We'll definitely see more of that Winston Diva. We're going to see a lot more of that Winston Diva because they just, they, again, they can dive that Widow, which you're most likely going to see on this map as well. And if you need to dive that Widow here at this point, uh, you can't leave a Widow uncontested. When you want The moment you start leaving the Widowmaker uncontested on that high ground, I mean, you're losing supports, you're losing DPS, you're losing pushing power. Uh, and it's it's a really rough game uh, once that comes in. So we might see Roadhog here at the beginning, but probably not going to see him for the rest of the match. Yeah, that's a possibility. There's pretty standard compositions that have uh, come out of the meta so far. Uh, yeah. I know on PTR there's some changes to a, f a handful of heroes. Mm -hmm. I'm most excited about Reaper changes that are happening, where he'll get the free reload off of the Shatter form. Uh, yeah. I think that's a pretty good change as well. I uh, think it's really unique. It kind of matches McCree's, uh, McCree's role as yeah. well. Uh, you know, he reloads off of that role. You get an automatic six clip out of that. Uh, so I think it'll be really unique for Reaper to have that utility as well. As the self-cancel, too, I think is really important correct. for the shadow form. Because mm -hmm. that's one thing that just feels bad is if you time it correctly and you dodge something out, you reposition, and then you see an opportunity, and you're just stuck there being like, I, I could have I could have killed you. But right. I can't fire my weapon. Yeah, but so. yeah, but you're useless. So that cancel yeah. is going to be really, really nice. So Reaper's honestly going to become a, a stronger character. But it looks like uh, we're about to be ready to roll into the cinematic here for this map, which is going to be uh, very beautiful cinematics that we have. For this I love, I love every single one of them. But but again, those Reaper changes, like you mentioned, that's that's going to be really exciting. I'm really excited for that. Uh, also, we're going to see Brigitte, uh, or however you'd like to say it. Bridget Baguette. Bridget Baguette. <laughs> However you'd like to say your name, we're going to see here coming into uh, competitive play as well uh, here within uh, the next patch uh, as well. And we'll see that for playoffs. Exciting. That'll be exciting. We're going to see that for playoffs. I don't know how. I don't know if these teams are practicing for game composition, but it's very possible for them to be able to. Uh, but we'll have to see. We're not going to see it now, though, because we're going to go ahead and run into this match. And like I said, just very standard dive composition coming out from both. Uh, you know, from Oregon, they're running a, a dive defense. Stanford 
kind of running a, a, a different uh, sort of offense there. That Arisa is a very static tank. She can't remove that shield a lot, so they're going to have to re really rely on playing around that Arisa. Yeah, we saw a little bit of a 1v1 on the tracers on the side. It seems to be just your, your standard start for both these teams. You mentioned the dive composition, Zader. Um, just trying to get a little bit of flank damage here, but Tracer can only do so much uh, when these are the straight six-on-six -six fights in open spaces. You really hope for more of the flank opportunities, more of the pick uh, that you can get when it's a little bit more spread out, a little bit more hectic. But oh, and that's really bad for Oregon there. They yeah, lose Diva Tank and they lose Concept there on the DPS. They're actually down quite a bit. Ooh. Chang getting really, really so low, here, low And that's, that's going to be it. I think Stanford's going to be able to take this point away here from Oregon unless some sort of stall comes out. But we're seeing ultimates being thrown out here for Stanford. They're really pushing to 100% nice. cap this point and start pushing this payload. Yeah, I like the uses there. They get the, they're going to capture it, no questions asked. Nice wipe there, almost completely stalling at Oregon. That's going to be, payload begins to move five minutes, over five minutes. That's a pretty quick capture already. That is a pretty quick capture, and that gives them so much time here to push to this next checkpoint, which is going to give them even more time. And so, you know, really, really nice to see Stanford uh, run that static composition and be able to pull it off. You saw them play around that Arisa shield, uh, and here we see, or uh, now we see Oregon coming back, kind of using all their ultimates now against Stanford. That's going to delay this payload here. Um, It'll take about like 20% of the push time that's left. You can see Jojo Bean still holding on to self-destruct, looking for a better opportunity. There was one when they first were pushing against that payload, but right. I like that you still hold it. ADX6 still deathless so far, putting a lot of damage out for Stanford. <laughs> and as I say, caster course. Jinxed it. <laughs> All right, Chang gets a nice pick there. Uh, Soldier has been doing just fine uh, for him. Soldier's a really far. strong pick on this map. There's a lot of high ground potential. There's a lot of places where you can stand uncontested and you can deal a lot of damage to those shields that you're going to see coming out. Especially against this Orisa, you need to be able to put constant damage in that shield. But here we see Jojo Beans. Primal Rage from Handsox just looks to create a little bit more chaos in this fight. Looking to get right into the fray. I like this aggression here from the Winston pick. Bubble placement is just about perfect as well. And once again, we talked about the Soldier pick. So good with dive compositions because it's so versatile. Caster Curse just hitting me back and forth. Right as I'm talking about the strength of a hero, he dies on my screen. But I just want to mention uh, about Soldier, because it is for both these teams they've chosen that pick. Uh, so strong because he's versatile. We talked about how uh, we're more likely to see the Winston Diva that you see on your screen here rather than something like the Roadhog. And the reason for that is uh, the agency, the utility that some of these other tanks bring. Soldier can adapt to the different compositions because he's such a versatile hero. So right, he can I, move quick or he can hold back. Yeah, both. He, and the healing is AoE. He can still help his team. It's not the most important part of his kit. But And then, of course, uh, what more standard of an ultimate can you get than his visor? I know, right? Free aimbot. Yep. I mean, who doesn't want a free aimbot? That you're not Speaking of which, for? oh Shimmix. my goodness, nice push here for Stanford. Nice shielding as well from the sound barrier. Both was... teams blowing that sound barrier too. That was, that, that, you know, they're using a lot of utility. Chang also blowing the tactical visor, getting a lot more utility there than Shimmix was able to. And Oregon is just capitalizing on Stanford not being able to get back on the payload and push it. Uh, this is why this dive comp composition works. They can get to the back lane, they can get back quickly, and they can hold them away from this payload. Yeah, Stanford was looking so good until the answer came through from Oregon there. You can see the timer down to two and a half minutes. They started with five minutes available to them right after they took that point, but the defense here from Oregon has been so strong. Uh, they changed that Reaper. Shimex is actually putting out a lot of damage, but kind of goes a little too far forward. Doesn't have shadow form. No, it does come through. He's down to about 40 health, and he falls just way too far ahead of his team. Gonna have to reset. Hopefully get that Death Lotus to get maybe one final push to actually get a little bit more distance on the payload here, Zader. They just don't have it. Something's off kilter here for Stanford. Oregon seems to be on the same page. Yes, we saw some communication from Stanford. Seemed to be on point where they were comboing some ultimates and getting a decent push. But Oregon answered with those same spells and actually to greater effect. 15 kill streak here for the Ooh, Diva. Jojo man. Beans gets Call Mech back again. Keeps the push alive. Oregon with this Beautiful defense, Seder, and it's all in the back of this on fire diva. Yeah, Superman, that is completely correct. Stanford just cannot get back on the point. Oregon is holding them away from it. 
they're pushing them back behind their spawn. I mean, they can't even they, they can't even come out their 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 good spawn point here. That that good spawn entrance. I you know th the tracer can't land anything significant. She doesn't have enough time to get in there. Uh, you know they switch to that roadhog, but that roadhog doesn't really have much. And here we go. There's another visor and a nano boost on Chang. That's the second nano boost that we've seen on Chang, and that's the second visor that we've seen from him in the last what minute and a half so far. Something like that. Up to a ten kill streak. You said it. It's the nano visor. They're just doing so much work trying to stop that last final push. Perhaps there's still one more minute, just under a minute remaining on that game clock for this push. Stanford looks to be getting locked out completely. You mentioned how Oregon seems to have redoubled their efforts, regrouped uh, on the support side of their entire team outside of game, just saying, look, we'll find what members work for us, maybe bring in some coaching staff, uh, redouble our efforts here in competitive play. And it seems to be working out great for them, Zader, as Oregon is putting on this immaculate, it seems, immaculate defense against Stanford. And Jojo Beans is doing a phenomenal performance here on D.Va. He, he, he's keeping him up. He's keep. He's gotten, I think, I think we've seen three D.Va ultimates here in the last, like, three minutes. Yeah, so and he has a D.Va ultimate per minute. He has not died. Yeah. He's getting key picks. He's zoning. He's, uh, I don't know. This, this, Jojo Beans is doing a phenomenal job. Definitely carrying the front edge. That's what you need to see out of your tank. Oh, this is so close. Nice push here from Stanford off the self-destruct. It is zoning one. ADX6 gets the mech. And then you can see there's a lot of people falling here for Oregon. Actually, there's some ground being gained here for Stanford. Will they be able to actually hit the checkpoint? They're about three quarters of the way there and still pushing three on the payload. Four now. They're pushing it at max speed. We can see Chang. way to walk back. <gasps> Chang actually trying to do the solo defense here. He's actually got a lot of damage. Nice hack comes through too. The Did nano boost was there too. Oh my goodness. Round one complete. That was almost there for Stanford Zader, but once again. Morgan had four members down. Yeah. All they had left, really, I actually I think Jojo Beans was still alive. So they had three members down. All they had left was that Diva, that Anna, and that soldier. That was all they had. The nano soldier the was nano so ridiculous. painful for Stanford to deal with. I mean, that was Something to watch. I, it looked really close at the end there for Stanford making that push. They gained, what, like 60% of the space they hadn't been able to gain thus far with the right. payload they push? Able to get on. And then Oregon finally shows back up and says, hey, <laughs> cooldowns are back. See ya, nerds. Right? <laughs> cool so downs. it's pretty good. <laughs> Oh, man. And, yeah, you know, and even regardless, that's a really long walk back for Oregon. So that could have been potentially devastating had the rest of Oregon been taken out. You know, really, that could have been the point there yeah. for Stanford. And they would have had that extra two minutes and 30 seconds. Yeah, I, they just needed a little bit more time, it seemed, because they finally found their footing at the last little push there. Right. Stanford, the so was close. Ended up, ended up starting working out for them when he got that death blossom. After he learned his lesson, overextending a little bit, then mm -hmm. I, the positioning and the pressure was there for sure from the Reaper. I liked it a lot more. Um, what do you expect to see here from Stanford on defense then? I, I mean, I, I'd hope to see them not... I, I mean, I'd hope to see them either keep the Orisa on defense and kind of run like a Torbjorn or maybe uh, a Bastion if they want to still run that Orisa. Or I, I want to see them run get just a dive, dive defense as well. Uh, because the only way you counter a dive is to play counter dive, which is dive. So, you, you know, you're, you're running the same composition. You need to be able to protect who they're going for. So your whole team needs to be able to move quickly to where you know Oregon is going to pressure. So Oregon's going to go pressure top back line. Your team needs to be able to get to the top and on the back line quickly to save the to save, you know, uh, your your team. But like I said, we're going to see Roadhog here on the first point. I like that. Uh, I think it shows that they're willing to try a little bit harder to uh, uh, be more aggressive on this first point. Yes, it was very it's quick. Tank, though. I you know, dive Dive, 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 right? Dive. It almost sounds like you've got a Reaper in your composition anyway, so a little bit more They're nice flank. They're off the high ground, which is, which is really bad for them if they lose that high ground so fast. Axley had to drop down and lost oh. a lot of health. Tank's and, gone. And he's gone. That's it. That's gonna be that's gonna be the point for Stanford. Really, they're 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 missing that tank. Now they're missing the mercy from this very Whoa. dedicated focus. All right, this is systematic destruction here. Oregon just with the beautiful push. And look at that damage. They just completely That's squad wiped. That's a five player kill streak for Concept. The Tracer working beautifully this time around. Ooh, all right. Pulse Bomb already available. We're barely a minute into this. And they've already secured the payload. They just have to get more ground to be able to take this map. But look at them now. Now they're pressuring. 
They're pressuring so they can give themselves room on that payload. They're pushing Stanford back. They're keeping him away from the payload so they can continually push it. They're not going to... Now, they're going to keep one person on the payload, but they're going to keep Stanford away from it as well so they can't stall it. Do you um, think Oregon swamps out some of their heroes here after they use uh, their ultimates? Or do you think their composition not. is fine? Most likely not. I think their composition is fine with this triple tank, especially with that Roadhog able to go forward. And then, and then again, the Winston and the Diva able to stick together and provide a lot of uh, flanking... Uh, not, not a lot of flanking, but a lot of backline pressure there for Oregon and just kind of keep everyone away and Chang doing a really good job just he's getting picks on Mercy he's getting hooks he's doing everything he can look at this full-on pressure from Jojo Beans we saw him deathless in the last round and he just goes full-on forward against multiple members taking him away from any pressure that they could apply this is insane and it's over that's over that's it that's what you wanted that's what we wanted to see from Seth that's what I wanted to see from Sanford when they took that point. They needed to push up. They needed to pressure. They needed to pressure Oregon. They needed to keep him away from the payload. But they didn't. They all stayed on the payload. They all kind of grouped up together and waited for the payload to move. And then Stanford just came, sorry, and then Oregon just came in with their full dive, dived oh. onto the payload, and here you can see Jojo Beans just being a ridiculous diva. That was a beautiful play. His entire two rounds was beautiful diva play, I gotta say. Absolutely phenomenal. I, I He had a 24 kill streak. 36 eliminations. That's just, that's a tank. That's your tank. Where's my diva, man? I just can't ever. I Everybody can't play like, I can't diva play diva like life. that. Yeah, they do. I need Gold one. coin for you, diva. Gold, Gold coin, coin diva. All right. That's pretty good. Uh, we're going to be loading into game two in just a little bit here. Once we just, it's loser's choice for map. Loser's choice um, for map. So Stanford gets to choose what we want to, uh, what they want to bring out on what map. Um, Oh, is, sorry. Production tells us it's winner's choice. Uh, so uh, That's new. I'm confused what Stanford was doing because it seemed that unlike Oregon, when they would lose key members, uh, they wouldn't back off and wait for the respawns to make a full six-man push again. Right, they tripled. Um, yeah, uh, and in that sense, you have Concept able to just mow people down. That's what Tracer can do. That's what any sort of DPS can do. Is and if if you're not grouped up, if you don't have the shields, you don't have the heals, you don't have an actual group, especially with dive, then the DPS will mow you down. There's there's no doubt about it. It doesn't matter how good of a player you are. If you're going in without your backup, you're just going to get mowed down, even against like mediocre players. It's right. a numbers disadvantage. It's a utility disadvantage. The resources aren't there. You're going to lose that push, and you're just going to waste time because now your team members respawn. They'll either do what you and just now did. You're, you're back here and they're already up here and the staggered spawns one after another after another everybody's just going to go in it's the one by one strat as i like to say for a league of legends where uh, in any team fight situation in any game situation where there's team play if you don't play to the team if you in well, not intentionally well, but I mean, unless you're master Yi. triggered triggered but this isn't League of Legends. No, it's <laughs> Overwatch. And speaking of Overwatch play being immaculate, I, the D.Va, JoJo like, Beans. I so hope good. to see a little bit more of that because his D.Va play was immaculate in I both the will. rounds. I really do think we will. I think Oregon has practiced this dive composition. You can see that they practice this dive composition. They utilize JoJo Beans. They keep the Winston with that D.Va. That is what you want to do because you have it. not only do you have a 900 HP shield, but you also have a D.Va able to suck up a bunch of stuff, whatever, you, whatever she wants. Uh, so, you know, those two together, they played really well. They have really good synergy, which is really nice to see. So they're utilizing that D.Va to its full potential, protecting her with the Winston as well. And not only that, even when the Winston wasn't around, I mean, Jojo Beans was just pushing and pushing <laughs> and pressuring and getting ult charge and dealing damage and killing a Reinhardt in spawn and coming out and living somehow. I, I don't know. A little bit of everything. A little, a little bit, bit of everything. everything. The defense matrix usage was also really good. Yeah. As soon as they swapped to Reaper, as soon as Stanford tried to put a little bit more, or excuse me, yeah, as soon as, as, soon as Stanford tried to switch up their composition and try for a little bit more aggression, uh, I saw Jojo Beans adapted play style said, okay, so I can't be, a, a complete nuisance like I have been. I have to play a little bit more grouped and use the defense matrix against this Reaper to make sure that as soon as he hits that reload, right. boom, now I've got my aggression and I can take you out. Mm -hmm. So you can just see the game sense uh, is there for Jojo Beans. It really is. It looks like next map going to be Hanamura. I don't like Hanamura. I like running strats on Hanamura that are ridiculous because there's some stupid strats that you can <laughs> run. But other than that, I don't like Hanamura. It's a very, I, I feel like it's 
one of those two CP maps that is a lot longer than the others. Mm. I, not like longer in distance, but I feel like that one always plays longer than all yeah. the other ones. The second point in particular right. uh, is really difficult to actually take. <laughs> yeah, because, I mean, there's so much high ground that you set up on on the second point. There's so much, it's such an open space. There's so much just like, there's so much that you, the defense can just come and flank you on, yep. or you just don't know where anybody is. There's too much space. I, I feel like there's, there's way too much space. Where on the first point, it's, you know, it's a little box. You yeah. Know, you got a bell in the middle, but you know where everyone is. On objective A, uh, I like to actually see um, variations on pharmacy compositions. Mm -hmm. um, Especially on attack. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. I, I should have specified for right. attack variations on a pharmacy composition, um, or maybe even like a nano hand soap. I, I, I like that. Uh, because you can be a little bit more. You mentioned the flanks on this map. You can be a little bit more aggressive, and on attack, uh, you can do like any sort of swarm dive, mm -hmm. or you can do these slow methodical DPS more oriented compositions mm -hmm. that I think are a little bit more fun to watch because you can see the snipes happen. But yeah, once again, this is going to be Hanamura, Oregon v Stanford. This is game two. First one was Oregon winning 2-0, uh, or excuse me, 2-1 because their the first point was taken. Two, one. Yeah, yes. This was the point. Yes, yes, yes. So hey, game score. Right? A little bit, yeah. A little bit of game score. I like it. That's nice. I believe. I, th I think that's how it works. Probably not. Because they still I'm win the map, map so score. They still win the map, so yeah. the map score. Unlucky. But you can see Oregon just the first win here. Georgia Beans on D.Va again. Here we go. I like it. All right. So here is... Let's look at these compositions. Talk to me about these, Zader. Uh, see, what well, do you like out of Stanford? We're not going to see the nano hand soap. No, unfortunately. But we're going to see a hand soap. Yes. This is really interesting. Hand soap is really good. Here. Can be. Uh, you can provide a lot of uh, a, a lot of pressure here, uh, especially with those snipes. And I, I don't know, Jojo Bean's already already just taken off. I can't even talk about Hanzo because he's not even doing anything. Asian Sensation and Jojo Beans are just demolishing uh, anything and everything that Stanford has lived for. A four for one on that first push here, and Stanford just gets completely wiped. Oregon on the point. That's two thirds and no answer. All right, in Shimmick's under a minute. To Widowmaker now. They're doing a lot of key switches here. Shimmix was on that uh, that tracer. Tracer doesn't work too too well here on defense. Uh, you know, especially at this point, Widowmaker is a little bit more of a key uh, key p person here. But they're also running that May Reaper. Uh, now just a May. Uh, but May Reaper is a really interesting strat because you're slowing down whoever you're shooting at. But now they have so much high ground control. Uh, but uh, Oregon has has con uh, can also get onto that high ground and really contest it. So I don't I don't really know what Stanford's gonna do here. Doesn't really do you any good if you just give a point, right? So this seems really curious. You can see Concept just used his ultimate uh, to little to no avail. Riptire doesn't actually find anyone either just yet. Nope, nothing. What? I, oh, flash Emix. All right, this is kind of awkward. I, I mean, this push here from Oregon. They're trickling now. They're, they're again. They're 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 now trickling again. Uh, and. Stanford really needs to get a hold of regrouping. I mean, if they would regroup in there and let them get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more of a, you know, progress onto that bar. But if they came in as a group, they'd be do they'd do a lot more here against Oregon. But now Concept is just killing everything. A 15-player streak to end out I round think, one. I don't know. If, I don't know if Oregon died there besides Robo Crab. Yeah, he died twice. I don't but, know. I mean, that's what you do as a support, right? Sometimes you just Sometimes have to you sacrifice die. your life. So look at that. Six minutes remaining. That was instant. That was instant for both points, basically. I mean, other than the trickle, other than the trickle loss there, At the I mean, very was, edge. they never really gave up the point, right? They never backed off and then went back to it. They were on the point the whole time. Like there was I said, a, I don't know if they died. Was there a defense even set up at all? That didn't look like a, a very strong defensive composition. Mm -hmm. Not really any sort of line of scrimmage drawn for Stanford to say, look, the, no, you try didn't. and pass here, we will catch you out, and you have to come at us from this direction. Uh, they kind of said, Oregon, you tell us what you want to do, and we'll try and stop you. When you're on defense, you have to dictate the tempo, and you have to say, look, this is your option. You have to beat us at our game. And we're on defense. We have the setup to make sure that we have the edge for that. Yeah. You delete all other options. But if you just say, we have these six heroes, we're good at them, and we're going to try and beat you, 
show us what you've got, then if they show you what you've what they've got and it's better than what you've set up and you haven't really set up anything, now you're how do you, again. Yeah, now you're switching. Now you're kind of at odds with your own composition even because you're now you have to be communicating not only in game what's happening then, but like what do we want to do? Like that's not the question you want to ask, mm -hmm. right? What do we want to do is not the question you ask in the game, it's what you ask in loading screen and when you're preparing your attack or preparing your defenses, whichever side you're on, you have to already know what your game plan is coming into a round. And it didn't look like Stanford had that set up whereas Oregon was like, huh, run at you, gun you down and then ask and questions later, right? Right, yeah. Right, yeah. I mean, they didn't really have to do anything else. It's It was just clean and easy for Oregon. So now they're going to go on the defense. Hey, we see Roadhog again. I got. I, I, I just got told wrong. I, I guess we're going to see Roadhog here on a different sort of map. I guess it's actually... I uh, Actually, you know what? I stand, my, I stand my ground on this map. Roadhog's really good because you can get super key picks here on this chokehold because, I mean, there's really only one way to go here on this map, and that is through the middle. Yep, they're looking for it. No real flank oh, opportunities. See, there we go. AXD got, got hooked and dead. Mech already gone. That's the difference here for these D.Va players, at least. You can see Concept looking for the flank. Uh, you know, Shimex was doing just fine on Soldier on the last map. I want to see him switch to something a little less flank uh, dependent because the Tracer is just, you can see, no, barely getting any ult charge. If that's what Tracer is doing, it's not being effective. Switch to Far, switch to Soldier, switch to even Reaper if you're going to play like a dive composition to try and get this attack to work. Right. I, I don't like the Tracer pick right now at all, Zader. No, I'm not liking it, especially because they're not utilizing it, right? See, they need to push past the shield. They need to go straight past, right? They, But look, but now they're staying behind it. But see, now when they push back the shield, now, now Oregon has to spread out, and now they're a little bit less, uh, well, I mean, theoretically, they tried. They Oregon tried. would have been a little bit less centered and, uh, and, and you know, composed. You need to do that again, right? That's what you're talking about, Zader, is... Yeah, you uh, need to do that more. Go for the push, try exactly what you just did, and hopefully you get a little bit more success. Because if... You get if on you, the point. Yeah, if you have the Lucio to maybe uh, speed you up, create a little bit more chaos in these fights, separate this really tanky composition that Stanford has on the front line, uh, then you can actually maybe make use of that Tracer, uh, but... It's just not working for Look them. Look at them, you know, as they come in, they're just trickling in. You know, they're coming in one by one, and you see one die, you see the next one die, and then the next one, right? And now they all have to back off and do it again. But when we saw when we saw Oregon do that dive, we saw them all go in, in, onto the point, and then kill them. Yep. So they made they forced them away from this chokehold, away from you know from this super danger zone that they can just sit here and just spam and, and gain ult charge and and kill them. And, and now they're just getting picked off even before they get to the chokehold because this Hanzo is ridiculous. Concept doing a really good job picking up Shimmix with that ultimate as well. Shimmix almost with the first pulse bomb available. Once again, I just want to say that's not the pick that's working for them. They need to just... Look, it's been almost three minutes, too. Yeah, uh, you need actually to have like two pulse bombs by now if you're playing Tracer on offense against this kind of a composition here. You see Oregon still holding a lot of their ultimates that they've got for themselves once again, right? These aren't the first ultimates of the match that it seems to be Stanford is trying to get for themselves, barely. Right as pulse bomb becomes available, Shimex dead once again. This player is great at Tracer. We saw it in that first round. Great at even some other DPS champions. I've talked about the Soldier, too. But on this map and with these compositions, the way that this is playing out, it's just not the right pick. And you got to know, maybe just throw the Pulse Bomb, recall, swap out, right? Unless you can find the perfect flank. Now things seem to be a little bit more scrappy, but you've only got a minute left. I think it's next to impossible for them to actually get anything to happen here. Shimex, Pulse Bomb available. Where are you going to go, buddy? You're on the flank. you got to make actually something happen. You're the DPS. Where's Stanford damage if Shimex is just looking for a flank all the time? Pulse Bomb does Chang. actually find Chang. That's a lot of damage down. Now you have to push. Where is Stanford? Make the push right now. Here come the tanks. All right, here come the tanks. Now they're going to push in. they got to push past the shield. There. Now you see it. They're past the shield. Now they got to go to the point. But now they can't because Diva's already dead. Reinhardt's going to die here soon, too. AXT is going to go down. Now they now they lost their push again. They get a really good They get a really key pick. And that's it. I, I mean, what do you do? Not that. Definitely Doja not Beans that. shows that he's just a great tank player overall. It's not really the hero that makes the difference for him. Of course, there's going to be more utility, uh, better picks here and there. But yeah, Stanford, it's a nice little cheesy try there from Shimex to get on the point during overtime. But that's it. A six minute clock was remaining for Oregon, and Stanford can't even cap the first point. 
Oh, man, that was a convincing performance, even more so than the first map. Right, Oregon. Let's check this out. Concept on the hand soap. Let's see him. This is a really good hand soap. That's, I mean, that, if I was going to use a hand soap, I would use this hand soap. He's like the good stuff. I think he, he got four kills here. One, Bath two. Uh, three. Four. That's pretty clean. That's pretty clean. Hand soap. Pretty, pretty clean hand soap. I'm trying too hard. All right. We're so convincing so far. It's not over. Stanford could bring it back, but Oregon is looking really good. I'm, I'm happy to see the improvements that they have brought now in the regular season. Yeah, coming into the coming out of 02. Yeah, and they've been winless, right? They haven't won at all coming into this map. week. Yeah. They haven't won. I mean, their map score is 0-8. Yeah. Right? So they haven't gotten a map. And neither, I mean, granted, neither has Stanford. So both of them kind of in the same position. But Oregon now showing that they can beat a, a, you know, a team that's in the same position. And if not better, I've seen, I mean, I've seen very quality play here from Oregon. If I, you know, uh, I mean, tell me if I'm wrong, but, you know, I'm seeing compositions that we've seen from ASU, from Utah, uh, you know, from Colorado, and they're executing them well. They are pushing in. And this is not the kind of team compositions that we've seen from them before. And they are executing them very well. And, and, and now we see they're very, very clean and very flawless. They're doing quite well, Zader. I got to say, Oregon seems to be channeling their inner Valiant for sure. Uh, Stanford might be channeling their inner Shanghai Dragons. I mean, their their logos are the dragons in the lobby. I can see for them. the colors. Unlucky, but but hey, but it's not over. It, it is not. not over. Two maps down, both in favor for Oregon. They're Reverse looking really sweep strong. Can, can is possible. It is reverse sweep could come through, uh, and Stanford hasn't looked in like completely outclassed. There has been that Oregon has been playing strong. They've been not staggering their spawns. They've been playing pretty clean right we right. mentioned that stanford their individual players have been doing okay They're but really then messy. now the team play is very messy yeah mm -hmm. it's it's fallen to pieces and when it does then those individual players and their uh on their main heroes they can't shine right so you need a little bit more of a regroup mentality here from stanford for mm -hmm. them to say look we're down o2 set that behind us right don't think about it what's the map don't right now don't get yeah tilted. what's the map right now how comfortable are we with it? And what do we want to do as a team? Get those questions answered. And as soon as you have all that, keep all of that in your mind and forget about what happened in the first two matches. Uh, you, yeah. you don't, you don't need slate, to remember. You know? yeah. Clean slate. Yep. That's the best way to start each game, even if you've won. Start it as a clean slate. You know? mm -hmm. Don't get cocky. You know? Don't get ahead of yourself. Don't get tilted if you lost. Don't put yourself down. Yep. Keep playing how you would, would want to play going into any game. Yep. I want to see Shimex back on some more comfortable picks. He didn't look comfortable trying to flank there on Tracer. I want to see him... Uh, Probably on that Widowmaker and the Soldier. Mm -hmm. You know, sitting yep. back on the high ground, dealing a lot of damage, dealing a lot of DPS, getting those key picks, and then pushing into the point yep. once he feels safe. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that was kind of working for them in the first round. Mm -hmm. Game one. Ah, the last little while, though, it's just... Stanford looks to be going further and further. I, I think we're seeing tilt. Yeah, we're and seeing tilt. And that's why I was mean, saying, I mean, don't tilt. Yeah, I mean, Stanford was here. They were, they had it. They were going strong, right? They, they got that first point almost flawlessly. I mean, they really, they pushed onto the point. They held themselves together, and they, and you know, they killed Oregon. You know, they, they, they wiped Oregon there. And then, you know, then it kind of went downhill from there. They started sli slowly sliding down, and, you know, not a, not the performance we'd like to see, but next map is Li Zhang. We've Ooh. seen this almost every week. I love this map. This map is a very popular map. It can showcase all sorts of types of talent. Um, you can play those dive compositions. They tend to work really, really well uh, on the first point, and then you can run your flanks on the second point, even pharmacy compositions, uh, and I really like that you have those options and that the different points are uh, so different from each other in terms of what they call for in competitive play. Right. Um, it's really scrappy on the first point capture here with for King of the Hill map like this. Um, well, and it really we kind see... of decides the way of the game too. Yeah. The, per the, you know, the team that captures that point first it immediately gets that head start. Immediately already can hold. I mean, really, when you're holding a King of the Hill map, it's easier to hold it than it is to take it back. Yeah. Do you think we'll see both or either one of these teams, at least, at least one, go for the gravity bomb composition it's on the first tank. tank. I'm gonna see triple tank from both teams. Okay. I want. Not only do I want to see triple tank from both teams, but I um I I I am betting all of my all of my coins, which are gonna have uh, use later on, uh, on 
on them both running triple tank because triple tank just works on this map. It really just works. You run Zarya, you run Diva, and you run a, a Wednesday or Old Hog or something. Right? I really like Reinhardt for this one. There's so Reinhardt many. Uh, Reinhardt and Zarya, th those two coupled together are really good too. Yeah, Lee Jong gonna be the king of the hill for round three. I gotta say, Oregon's looked really strong in the last two maps. They're up 2 0 overall in terms of map score, so this could be. Essentially, it could be the point here, match point for Oregon, that we will always see that fourth game no matter what. I still want to see Stanford reverse sweep. This. Reverse sweep? I want to see possible. Stanford do a reverse sweep here. And here we see the compositions coming in. Uh, not triple tank composition, so now I'm wrong, and now I now I lose all of my coins. Uh, that That's that's unfortunate. Um, we're not even seeing it from Oregon either. Uh, they're running a May, though. Kind of the same sort of thing. Uh, you're gonna use that May as a really good utility for the wall and to hold that people hold people off the point and kind of keep them off the point as well. Uh, it works really well in this map as there you know there's n there's not very many entrances onto the point so make wall them off. Uh, she just needs to make sure she's there. All right, some Doomfist from Chang here. I'm excited to see how things go. All right, things are gonna break out and straight onto the point for both these teams. No dilly dally at all, and it is going to be Reinhardt in the front for both of these teams. The Reinhardt Zarya composition, like I said, that's a really strong composition here, especially on this map. Is that that gravity, that gra the, the graviton surge can really pick up a lot of people if you throw it into the middle of the point. It really can pick up a lot. Alice getting taken out. That's a lot of damage away from Stanford, as well as Tail Toxie. That's 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 really really important for Oregon to take out those two members, and they're going to capture the first point. And Stanford's going to have to back up and play from the spawn. Well, Jojo Beans showing why he seems to be the MVP here for Oregon. Playing real strong. I, man, I don't see a way back in this for Stanford. You lose the point this early. King of the Hill maps, they're always notorious. Just King of the Hill strategy in general. Whoever gets the point first is almost always favored to win. Yes, you can cap it back and forth, but once you get that early chunk, because right here is the reset and regroup. And during that the percentage is ticking. It's all there for Oregon. Yep, They're getting more and more. 30. And here comes a really huge shatter there from Oregon. But Atlas and AXD getting a really, really good you know, pick there on Oregon. And it, Oregon's dead. Stanford team with the kill. amazing team kill. They wipe it away from Oregon. And we mentioned how it should be that the first team that caps it should be favored here. But Stanford, if they can group up and do stuff like that continuously, I don't see a possibility for any team, even if this was ASU or Utah sitting atop the standings, you don't win team fights when Stanford plays against you like that. So look at this Riptire, maybe looking for that. Nice! Really That's good. That's good. Takes really out the front line for Atlas and there. the support. Front line and support there. That's really two really big picks. Oregon now, you're going to see them back off. They can't play forward. They can't really, unless they get a pick here on AXD. AXD doing a really good job kind of playing that line aside there now, though. Uh, but you know Stanford switching to that Reaper and, and, and kind of having this uh, very burst heavy composition here doing a really good job. But this is really, really bad there for Stanford and that's going to be the point taken back for Oregon, but they are now ahead on the percentage. They have 43%. If they, even if they do lose this point, they're, they're ev they've evened the playing field out, which is really nice. Yeah. This is really good. Really they have, important. They, you know, yeah, they have a lot of more confidence here. Uh, both Reinhardt's nearing, uh, nearing Earth Shatter there. Uh, that's going to be another game changer. Uh, you know, not only is that, you know, is that Graviton Surge a game changer like we saw there in that fight, uh, but the Shatter as well. If you hit it well, it's it's really good. Atlas is building old, old Charge very quickly as well. If he gets a really good key uh, pick there, that could be important. Oh, oh my goodness. You mentioned the Earth Shatter. It was huge here for a minute. But Oregon. Atlas comes through. Atlas does come through the... Four man kill, three from the Riptire instantly. That Earth Shatter into Riptire combos just busted there. Stanford must know exactly how to win this map because they are showing us that the last two maps must have been a fluke. Because these team fights, when the when those ultimates are available for Stanford, they completely wipe Oregon. Oregon doesn't seem to have any answer to this. And so now back on the point, they're going to be building that up. The Graviton comes through. Will they actually be able to make a counter push here for point. Oregon? They want to hold this point. They're doing a really good job. They're keeping Oregon away from the point. AXD getting taken out, but Handsocks as well is also down. Both Reinhardt's down for both teams. They're in a very even position here. Tiltox needs to play a little bit more safe. He needs to play a little bit more behind his team so he doesn't take as much damage. Chang looking for Doomfist ult. Almost Corky gets Corky. Really low. Ace of base. Double, oh, double kill. kill. Triple almost. Yes, it is going to be the third elimination very quickly on that assist. 
All right, back over to Oregon. That's 75, and it's still ticking. 83 for Stanford. This might be a 99-99 game. Zader, this is so close. You can see JoJo Beans holding that ultimate for the final defense here as they're ticking closer and closer to 90%. Depending on how this Graviton Surge goes, this could be the this could be a map loss here for Stanford. And that it, like I said, there we go. Yep, that, that's that's the map loss for Stanford, Stanford there. Seven six. They grabbed a majority of the team there, and. Now Stanford doesn't have anybody to get in the point. Yeah. All right. That was really close, though. Stanford shows that maybe they can come off of that tilt. Maybe they're not as far gone as we thought. I think they came thought. off of that tilt. That, that, was, that, was, that was really good play. That did look really good. Atlas was very good on that junk rat. He had very good picks. You know, we saw, uh, I, b I believe it's AXD, AXD6 come out with really, really key Earth Shatters, taking that first point back. Uh, we saw really good Graviton Surges coming through, uh, you know, holding the point as well for both teams. I think... I think Stanford really does have a chance. I think they're not tilted. They're playing well. I just think there's a little bit more things they need to kind of narrow down. They need to make sure they, they're not getting caught in JoJo Bean's ultimate, which is probably really hard because JoJo Bean is a very, very fantastic player, as we've seen recently. Yeah. Um, but they know they just need to nail these things down and, and see what's going on. Stanford being a different composition now. They're taking Alice off of Junkrat. Corky's now on Junkrat. Uh, a little not. late to be switching heroes on a... Yeah, King now, of the hill, you're a little bit behind the action. Yeah, now Skip Oregon has hold. an upper hand. They're going to hold him away from this choke hold. And when the control point unlocks, really, uh, Oregon has the upper hand. Here. I don't I don't like the switches that I saw from Stanford just now. It's really late, too, and you're not going to have the numbers. That means Oregon can just hold the choke points, and they do. You can see nice hack here. Chang almost taken down. Ten health around the corner, and it's going to be Shimex taking Ooh, him Shimex down. getting really low as well. Nice Ooh. hack into invisibility. Going to get a little bit of health back. Reset. Get back to the squad, and Stanford might be able to actually make a push here. You can see. But they're all trickling again. Yeah, they are they're trickling. trickling. Shimex has been trying a few different things in the last couple maps here. Has to find the comfort pick, right? It, it hasn't been that tracer. Now, looking on this metro, it should be okay. Or, uh, Sombra. Sombra, excuse me. No and <laughs> Ace of Base switches over to Moira, too. Stanford, just, uh, I guess they're just trying to find what recipe creates the most for them. No, Concept's finding a lot here. Concept is finding so much damage. He's just, he's just, he's click, click, click. Oh, I'm, uh, speaking of clicks. Left clicking can sometimes be difficult, and it looks to be not too difficult as Quirky's going to be falling here. Jojo Beans also the tank for his composition, the main one there on the front line. Uh, Oregon with an interesting composition in the sense that uh, they can just kind of run at you, but if you get a decent flank, you're very susceptible to it. That's why I want to see Shimex staying here, looking for the flanks as he did Chang from the front is, end. Chang is, is, is oh. going right oh. into the deep end. He got pinned, but the right heart got taken out anyway. Wow. Comboing at least a little bit more damage. It wasn't the ultimate doing enough. Meteor Strike. Oregon is holding Stanford away from even going through that door. Yeah, Ace of Base here on the Moira. Doing a little bit of healing. Going to have to do a little bit more if they're going to make it through this choke point, though. You can see 92 is Corky, the charge for JoJo Beans. Tire there. This is Stanford's moment to take it back, to hold Oregon at the door, to do the same thing that Oregon did to them. Stanford needs to push this door now. They need to capture the point and immediately push onto Oregon. It was 80%, and now they're actually getting something to tick for themselves. Stanford, whether it's Atlas or Corky, it seems they're so that spread apart. the rip tire is what they need. Yeah, they're spread apart once again. This seems to be uh, the no. biggest problem for Stanford is... Uh, they just kind of... They're holding the point. They need to hold that door. They need to push him away. If you're standing here inside, then you get the flanks on yourself, and that's not what you want to see. You want to see you're holding the choke points with the composition you've built for yourself, especially when you have Rip Tire doing so much work when see, available for you. The concept on the flank there, taking out Atlas. Now this is Oregon's moment to push in. It, oh my two goodness, picks Concept! With the Jedi. Uh, concept is just flanking. And that's all he needs to do. And he got taken out. But, uh, I mean, all of Stanford's already dead. Yeah. Winston says no monkeying around. Takes him out after that dead eye was so clean. That was a quick triple kill for him, too, from the dead eye. Now you can see, recapped by Oregon. They're in the 90s, so it looks to be the map. I don't, I'm not sure if, uh, if Stanford can actually get back in time, especially if they grab a 98, 99. And keep him off the point. Somebody's still on it, contesting Shimmix, for a little Shimmix bit. Is on the point. All right. It's, it's got to be over. You can see Concept just looking for the flank to get a little bit more of those picks. 
Diva back on the point, punched out. All right, overtime ticking. There's Diva, Mechless tries to get back on. Three, two, one, map here for Oregon. Congratulations at the 3-0. We're going to watch that fourth game just for the funsies. But Oregon going to the playoffs. Congratulations to Oregon. Pretty convincing, too. This does not look like a last place team. I don't think they're a last place team at all. I think I think they just needed to get a reins on themselves. I think they're uh, they're new to the esports scene. They were new, they were a fairly new team put together, and I think they needed to. Oh, think, oh man, Atlas, beautiful, beautiful play from Atlas yeah. there. Don't don't let Stanford down here. Don't say that Stanford's a bad team. You know maybe no no no. You know you know maybe they got they went zero and three, but they showed up here on this uh, on this. They 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 did a really good job here against Oregon. Which, uh, which is phenomenal, knowing that Oregon has now stepped it up, a, I mean, a whole new level. Yeah, what I want to see from, uh, from Oregon here is show us what you want uh, us to see in playoffs, right? Now that you've secured your position, you know you're playing in those quarters, what can you do? Show us as clean Overwatch as you can. And you mentioned Stanford. Uh, what I think, after watching these games, I think Stanford is full of really good players who are comfortable on certain uh, roles, but maybe not certain heroes. They need a maybe they need that coaching staff like Oregon has brought on that right. will say, look, from watching you play, from having the cohesion of our team, try this out. Here's a composition. Let's try this out. Let's practice it because it seems that Stanford isn't quite as practiced. But when they have an idea and they execute, it's perfection. We saw that with the team wipes against Oregon on Lijong Tower. Need to see more of that from Stanford in the future. For They're sure. not going to make it the playoffs this time, but we still will see one more fourth map here against Oregon for fun. I, I got to say, Stanford, when they do actually choose decent heroes, they don't play awkwardly with like, the spawn times where they're just running in without a team, uh, they look pretty good. Oregon, though, really good, has I mean. that macro down, right? They're staying grouped. They're backing off when they know that they're on their back foot, and that's working out for them, and that's why they're getting these wins. I, I completely agree with you. I, I mean, I really don't have anything to add to that at all uh, because they, they, played, say, they, they really didn't play so well there, Oregon, and I think Stanford can do the same if they, if they have that coaching and that, that sort of better team play material i think a lot of a lot of stanford's playing on their own and that doesn't really work when you're playing in in this sort of competitive scene uh these sort of tournament scenes you can't play on your own that much no you can't and more importantly when it comes to college esports there has to be that support there has to be the support staff um your school has to be behind you right and so if you don't have uh if Unlike what we are seeing from Oregon, where Oregon brought on some new players, went out and tried to recreate their esports teams, mm -hmm. uh, and now you're seeing success in Overwatch for it, you need to see the same from schools like Stanford, who, if the players are there, like we're seeing in these games, they're here, they're good, they're ready to play, and they're ready to put their best foot forward and try, you need more support behind them. You need staff to come in and say, yeah, let's get you... Um, Dedicated playtime. Let's support this like it's real, because it is. Esports is here to stay, and we're here as PacG to show that even when schools don't say yes right away, the students will take it over. This is a completely volunteer-run organization. The Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers. Ten of the twelve PacG schools said yes because. We don't care if the schools themselves are going to back us on this. We're going to do it anyway because the students want it 100%. Students want it. Students want it. Viewers want it. This is the next. This is the future of collegiate sports, where it's not just your traditional sports, but esports here, and not just one title, not just two titles, but these different titles. Pac G. We do production on three different titles, right? You've got four. Oh, oh yeah, four. We got. Uh, League of Legends, Overwatch, Hearthstone, and Rocket League. And all of those are extremely competitive. Even the ones that like are a little bit slower moving, like Hearthstone, or are super fast-paced and almost seem meme like Rocket League, they're all fun. The students are super involved, and they're dedicated to improving their craft. And really, I think that's what matters most when looking at what college sports, college esports is meant to do for these students, is give them an avenue to hone their skills and say, look, I have talent in this area, it may be non-traditional, and it's new with video games and gaming and esports being this new wave of the right. future. But 
giving avenues for students, for human beings to say, look, this is something I'm good at. Let me show you and let me get even better at it and come do it with me. That's what I like to see. And that's why I love esports so much is that it can bring in that camaraderie and the support and an avenue for individuals to shine as well as groups to say, look, we've done this together. I think we can all really agree with you that, on that one, Jake. I, I really do. I, I think everyone really really wants ha, I think everyone as a kid as well has wanted esports to become a thing you know you know you know you know, so take someone like me who never was good at football I mean obviously I weigh like two pounds and a half maybe uh it, you know never was good at football or baseball you know I tried all of that but you know it never was my thing but then I you, you know I played games and I was good at it and I, I you know I could be better than my friends I could be better than you know these other people I could show and I could show you what's up uh, you know, and just like you, maybe one of you guys could with football. And and now we have this esports thing. Now we have, you know, all of these dreams as a kid that we really had come true. And that's so much, that's so important here for esports, I think, uh, as well as all of us that have been growing up are now seeing something that we've wanted our whole lives. And it's here. Yeah, it's here. And it's here on Junkertown for game four. Yes, three games already victory for Oregon, so they're going to be going on to the playoffs. Congratulations once again to them. But for the fourth map, it's going to be Junkertown. Should be pretty fun, the payload map. Uh, I want to see some pirate ship. I want to see, um, yeah, more comfort. I like Widowmakers on this map, but then again, I just yeah, like Widowmakers in general. Maybe finally we'll find some comfort on a hero. I think I think Shimmix is more comfortable on heroes like Widowmaker, Soldier, McCree. Mm. You know, soldiers that you can kind of sit back, relax, not have to be so forward in your face like Tracer I mean yeah I mean Tracer you're literally always staring at Roadhog's belly button you know or scary yeah, right right and you know you don't want to stare at some fat dude's belly button all day right I mean that's that's scary that's stressful there's a lot there's there's a lot of stress that comes into the Tracer uh, into playing Tracer uh, so I can see why you would you wouldn't be very comfortable when you're used to playing those far back heroes where you're getting a good position you're comfortable with yourself you kind of pop everything yep and Junker Town once again. It's a payload map. I'm gonna swap sides in between. So Oregon, Stanford. The match overall has already been decided, but Stanford can show us once again why they're here to support esports collegiate competition. Here's that pirate ship that you asked yeah, for. the pirate ship. We got Arissa. And the Widowmaker. We're getting both Ooh, best of every, both worlds. Everything here. coming through. And they're set up. Here we go. Let's go, AXD. Show us what Bastion can really do. Concept, getting caught out there. Gonna have to teleport back. There's not a lot of pressure put on the shield here. Oh, oh the hook That's not what you wanna through. see though. <laughs> AXC now has to get set back up on the payload, but that's gonna be really hard for him if there's any flankers going out. Oh no, they, they gave him a free buy onto that payload. Uh, Shimmix taking out Chang. Uh, here, here we go, Stanford having a better team here, having more players that they're, uh, you know, on heroes that they're more comfortable with. And it's showing. Yeah, has to reposition them. <laughs> kind of getting blocked off. Oh, knocked off the payload. They keep pulling them off. Well, that's pretty good. Stanford doing a pretty good push, though. They're already halfway to that first checkpoint. More than halfway, I should say. About two-thirds. Doing just fine. Three minutes. They've got plenty of time left over. Oh, configuration tank. Does a little bit of damage. Oh, gets taken out so quickly. Oh, Chang is on a roll. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, the shield was already gone. Just boom, gone. Chang here with the headshots. Right click. Working right -click. just fine. Oregon makes it real quiet here on Junkertown, almost a ghost town at this point. So Roadhog's like, hold on, hold on, can you not? Aww. And he gets taken out from the back. He could move very fast. Unlucky. He's not in shape, if you know what I mean. Or in the right shape. He's least. actually got air, dude. Like, can you imagine that guy has, like, some sort of power forward? Imagine in, the in leg muscles on that guy to yeah. to jump like that. I bet he could dunk on a 10-foot rim. I think he's, like, 10 feet tall. <laughs> okay, doesn't even need to have the hops. <laughs> All right, but... Maybe he just needs to reach up a little bit. And just. Yep. Or he can just, like, hook the hoop and bring it down to him. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe. I mean, I don't know if that's dunking. I think that's called hooking. I'm trying to dunk some of these players here as Oregon still defending pretty well. He is well. the players. Jojo Bean just getting over everyone. Close concept. concept. Oh, my goodness. The flank is still coming through. Here's the Dragon's Blade. Ten play Was that in a row? It seemed like. I mean, it's almost like the respawn timers were instant. <laughs> and there's always somebody in front of him for him to take out. Concept here on fire on Genji. Woo. That was spicy. He's good Tracer. He's good Genji. Man, you don't want this guy behind you at all. He just nope. plays all the flanks. Yeah, he does, and he gets to work out. All right, not so much a flank available here because, oh, I, I tell a lie. He goes straight in. The Reaper trying to put a little bit of damage. Nice block out from Concept. He's still remaining healthy. Nice heals come through. You can see Chang, Chang was taken out. out. 
So they don't have that eye in the sky, so to speak. As Oregon's trying to, oh, really good defense there from Concept. But you can see the Widow has a nice, Shimex on the side, but finally gets caught out. Concept sees him, he's gonna chase him away. Shimex got pretty low, but heals up, regroups with the team. You can see the flank, oh Ooh, my goodness! Shimex also Ooh. sees Concept. Yes, the spot out. Shimex finally finding a little bit of comfort here with the nice flank. Is kind of in an awkward position though, did not have I don't think he. I don't think the grapple yeah, was ready. Yeah, well, it I, wasn't available. I could feel. I could feel him pressing the shift button. Yeah, turn to the left, stand still. <laughs> you know he's spamming the shift, and it doesn't actually work out for him. ADX6 has Death Lotus, but there's not really a good position to use it right now. You can see down really low. Will Maybe he actually? Oh. Roadhog. Woo, that's a scary Roadhog. Jojo Beans doing as much. Oh, Shimex though, still really comfortable here on the Widowmaker. Infrared's available to give them a little bit more vision if they need it, but you can see they're doing just fine. 30 I know, seconds. It's just so comfortable in these tanks. Yeah, no more pirate ship. It's over. And Jojo Beans with another hook. You mentioned how comfortable he is. Will they actually be able to get this? 20 seconds. It's going to be overtime for sure because both these teams fighting so heavily on this payload. It's barely moving forward at all. They have to get it. Eight seconds. Five remaining. Zader. Stanford looking to get a push, but it's not really working out for them. Self destruct finds Chang. But the supercharger is out. A lot of damage coming out. Concept does have the ultimate ready. Most likely going to see it come out right now. And Mercy, die. There we go. There's one. Two. There's two. Three. There's three. Th maybe. Three. Not quite, because oh, the nope. sound barrier the sound is barrier massive. Saved him. The oh. sound barrier saved him. <laughs> that was a good time. Sound barrier. Stanford still trying to push it. You can see Ace is the only one left on the point. Now the overtime might start ticking down. Three, two, one, and it's gone. All right. Well, Stanford tried. Yeah, they didn't really get a decent setup on the pirate ship. And when that's the case... I think every time they did get set up, they either got pulled off knocked by off. Arissa, mm -hmm. knocked off, hacked, or yoinked by a Roadhog. Yoink. That's pretty good. Jojo Beans, any tank you put him on, he seems to huh? perform. Did really well on D.Va. Yeah. Did really well on Reinhardt. Yep. No, wait. No, no. He's playing Zarya. Did really well Zarya, on Zarya. Yeah. Did really well on Roadhog. What do you need? He's the best off tank you can ask you for. You need Jojo Beans. You need some Jojo Beans. Yeah, you, you need do. some beans. Yep. Right in the morning, evening, afternoon, whatever. He's going to keep you wired. He wires up. Keeps him wired. Oregon. A, a cup of Joe. Joe Beans. Joe. Joe Beans. Joe. Don't call me Joe. Joe Beans Joe. You're... Some people might not know you. that meme. All right, so we're going to be switching sides here. <sighs> this is kind of tough. This is kind of tough because if really you can't is. get the first point uh, and you're not really sure. It, we, we talked about this plenty, Zader, where Stanford looks comfortable when they're on their heroes. But for whatever reason, as a team, as a squad, they just don't have a rhyme. They don't have a reason. They don't really have any sort of cohesion happening. Right. And it's not that the players don't like each other or some sort of internal disputes or anything. It's just I, like, we they, I, well... I think we'd see it play out where you wouldn't see healers healing people or something like that. I'm just not seeing it. What I'm seeing instead, Zader, is uh, no practice, no coaching in the competitive sense. I'm sure plenty of solo queue happens for these players, but that doesn't really Nothing do anything. Team size. More, we yeah. need to see more scrims. More, more scrims, more, more practice, more theory crafting even. More playing in a team setting. Yeah, and it's just not there for Stanford. I think that's their, their main bane at this point. I agree. I really do agree. But we got five seconds coming in. Look at this camp around the corner. What? Everybody should have full knowledge of this because you saw the scouting out there. Oh, All right, no, Ix, he tried. He wanted something, but he couldn't find it. And now this is just going to be a mess. Hopefully Stanford, because Stanford really can't die here. If they die here, Oregon's going to be able to push that payload almost, almost to that, you know, to the checkpoint. One for one. Jojo Bean's actually getting quite low. You can see there's a little bit more aggression that comes from Stanford. Oh, He's my goodness. For those right shots. clicks. Is, is he going to find Ace of Base? Is Ace of Base going to find him? Is Tail Toxie going to die? Ooh, May with a nice heal comes through. Very but nice in the middle spot. of everyone, not going to survive much. Longer. Nice wall to stop the possibility of falling immediately goes. from the Widow. Chang has the high ground. Now Oregon's going to get that push to start because they get quasi team wiped to come through. Uh, Chang's on the payload. Not looking good for Stanford, right? No, no, no. no. Hasn't know. all night. Ooh. In terms of team play, Oregon just is always one step ahead. Their composition is pretty good. There's Infrared trying to see where peek, is the peek, Widow. Peek, peek, peek. Oh, oh my peek. goodness! The sweep shot head. 99 damage. Oh, just so good. All right. 
Ah, Chang. Looking even more uh, comfortable. Stanford's Who needs high ground? Still dead. Yes, uh, still dead. Remember, there's a payload. <laughs> yeah, somebody has to pull it. They stopped pushing the payload. Yeah. But they were having fun. Yeah, That's they what were. matters, right? I, I mean, the payload becomes almost a secondary objective if you're so good at actually swiping them, uh, wiping them out. Uh, Reinhardt? Okay, the 1v1. Reinhardt versus Genji. That's Genji it. takes him out. And there you go, because they're able to get that first point. Uh, oof. Oof. Yeah. Oof. Big oof. But this is really good. Looking really good for... Ooh, uh Chang and the Widowmaker. Yeah. Play the game. All right, let's watch it. Let's watch. Is this that sweep shot? This is the sweep shot. Isn't it? No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 That was on the other no, that side. That was on the other side. One, two, three. Oh, oh the res. You can't the stand there. Res. Oh, unlucky. I don't want to res wide open, especially with a Widowmaker there. I, mean, I think head, I could have landed I mean, like shot. you're like almost presenting your head. Yeah, your wings are like, I, like right you're here. Like, your arm is up here. Your head is like here. You know, it's yeah. just you're presenting your head to be shot. I think I could land that shot if I was the Widowmaker. Are you dissing That's, on Chang? Well, I'm saying I suck, and I could have landed that shot. Oh, right. Because you're just okay. standing there. A stationary target. Anybody who gets stunned or is just, like, rooting themselves, you better land those headshots. And he did! Three in a row there, it looked like, so that was pretty good. Oof. Oof, indeed. Oregon looking really good, though. Uh, massive. I'm excited to see Oregon in playoffs. Massive improvement. Yeah. I want to see them play against Arizona and ASU. Thinking about playoffs coming out in the next week, those of us who have been thinking of the bracket, thinking, oh, well, who will be winning? Who's going to be doing fine? Um, whoever wins quarters has to take on Utah. Uh, or, people obviously have written off Oregon to a degree up until this point. But now, when you see them playing this cleanly, yes, they're still against the lower-rated team. But when their team play is relatively clean, looks really swell, uh, it's not as much of a sure thing anymore. Let's look at what, I mean, what did Oregon do tonight? I mean, look That's, at the maps. They just completely dominated. One point lost. And it was in the beginning of the night. You're getting your warm-up, right? Yeah. They're warming up. They're, 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 getting their, they're getting their feet on the ground. And they got their feet on the ground, and they planted. 2-0, 2-0. I'm what, uh, basically. Probably would have been a 2-0 if necessary. If necessary. But 1-0, <laughs> clean sweep. That's, that was it. And Oregon is just phenomenal. I want to see them play against Colorado. I want to see them play against Utah. I honestly think that they're better than Colorado at this point. We haven't seen Colorado play since they, you know, they, they got their matches done pretty early. They're 2-1. and one, But I, I think they lost against Colorado at first. I think they can win them now. Yeah. I think they can win playoffs, and I think they can go face Utah. Uh, I don't know how they will be against Utah. I mean, uh, Utah, you know, clearly being a very more established team. But this will be really exciting to see what Oregon can do now that they're here. Yeah. Yeah. The story is not over. It's just beginning for Oregon. And before it continues on to playoffs next week, we still have one more match for you guys this evening for Overwatch. And it is one that counts. The Saints show matches to this evening. It's Rivalry Week. And our next rivalry coming up is going to be ASU versus Arizona. Don't huge, go anywhere because this should be huge. There is some history we'll talk about when we return in just seven minutes for ASU versus Arizona. Don't go anywhere.
Welcome back, college esports fans. My name is Jake Superman Mori, and casting alongside me is none other than... Zader. Yeah, we're excited to be casting some Overwatch for you this evening. Once again, you're watching the Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers Overwatch Spring Tournament. This is Tuesday evening. We've got some awesome games for you. We just saw Oregon take convincing 4-0, we, we can call it, right? Uh, they took the convincing match uh, against Stanford. Uh, which does catapult them to playoffs. So congratulations once again to Oregon. They're going to make it to that postseason, which is, of course, starting next week. But speaking of how the tournament plays out, let's take a look at the tournament overview. Get that on your screen. You can see group stage. This is the eighth and final week of regular season play for Pacific Alliance of Collegiate Gamers across all titles. Again, it is Tuesday evening. You're watching Overwatch. Mondays and Wednesdays is League of Legends. Thursdays is Hearthstone. And Fridays is Rocket League. And this works out similarly in terms of the tournament and how it plays out. Playoffs start next week followed by finals, uh, depending on the different titles. So it's pretty exciting, uh, got to say, that Oregon makes it to those playoffs after having a really rocky start. Really rocky start for Oregon, but they pulled it together. Yep. They got a better team. They got a coach. They worked together. They started scrimming more, and we just saw them go up and up and up and up. Yeah. So and now hopefully they continue to go up and up. Hopefully. I mean, postseason, that's what it's for, right? Maybe you can make it through right. that bracket. Speaking of postseason and those groups, let's take a look at the Overwatch groups here for Pac-G. Four schools from each division. You can see for the South Division, Arizona, Arizona State. That's who we're going to see next. UCLA and USC. North Division, we just saw that matchup, which means Colorado and o Oregon will be going head-to-head -to, -head to see who will take that quarterfinal. Stanford out for the season. They don't make it to the post. And then Utah gets that bye for the semifinal. Um... Yeah, so tonight, South Division, we're seeing that matchup, Arizona versus Arizona State. It is rivalry week, Zader, which means we have the duel in the desert this evening. It is Arizona versus Arizona State University. Their duel in the desert goes so far back to 1899, even, when they are traditional it's sports. Yeah, uh, it's rivalry there. Yeah, it's almost as long as, like, a McCree stun. It's 100-some-odd years. At, at least... 
at least 100 years. Yeah, pretty close there, going to say. Uh, but it's a long-standing rivalry. The duel in the desert is what they call it. And they pass between them none other than the uh, Territorial Cup. And now you can see, for the duel in the desert, ASU's name is already on there. Professionally made. Could be, yes, it is professionally made. We uh, had this from a sponsor, also known as Ben Jodry Sorensen, caster for League of Legends, made this on the fly <laughs> right before the broadcast last night. For We saw ASU and Arizona actually went head-to-head -head last night for their duel in the desert. And that's why you see ASU's name is there, is for League of Legends. So, the question is, do they trade it back this evening? Does it go back over now that Overwatch comes here to be played? Will ASU fall to Arizona? Will it be University of Arizona that takes home the Territorial Cup? All right, place your bets here. I've got six chocolate coins here, Zader. Now, I actually like the chocolate in these, which makes me kind of a weirdo. Uh, uh, so do I. Uh, oh, no worries. Okay. I actually like these chocolate so, coins. No matter how hard it is to get them out, I mean, like, I mean, this is like the most, like, you barely how? even have anything to You like, have to have fingernails, grab. which... I bite mine, uh, like, really bad. I'm a nervous wreck sometimes, and so I okay. like, how do you even open these? Okay, so we each have six, and then there's this special gold coin. This will go over to the first correct prediction. So my first correct prediction, I'm hoping for that gold coin to come out of here, and I will bet, too, that not a single point goes over on the first map to University of Arizona. Okay. Well, you took my prediction, so obviously I have to go against it. Or match or raise or give me a different prediction. Can I double down map? on you? Oh, you can. Not a single point. Tell me the timer. How much time do you think will be left over? How much time will be left it's over? It's New Bonnie again, right? That's the that's New our gonna map be starting choice. map. Okay. I think Huh, let's see. If Arizona doesn't even get a point. Man, that sounds so rude. But again, ASU is a really good team, so I have so they much are. confidence in them. Uh let's see. So how much time is gonna be left? I think there, I think ASU will cap the first point with two minutes remaining. Okay. At least two minutes remaining. That's your double right? down. Gold coin is on the line, and one of us will take the chocolate out of here at the end to see who has more correct predictions. Let's take a look at what we are going to see for the rest of this evening and what you've already seen for Overwatch thus far. You can see Oregon gets their final, final week Regular season, match win, that makes them 1-2, and two, not quite the 0-3 that now Stanford falls to. And then tonight, starting now, you've got the duel in the desert. University of Arizona versus Arizona State University. And Arizona State University is one of those favorites to make the finals, even. Right, and this is going to really guarantee them the uh, the, the, the semifinal buy, too. Mm -hmm. They're gonna, it, this could get the, it's going to put them at the top seed. I think, they, I, think, I think they'll stay top seed, even if they lose this game. I don't think they will. Then again, it sounds really rude, but undefeated so far. ASU is such a strong team. Yeah, and Arizona being 0-2, they definitely are the underdog here. Yeah. So even if ASU does lose this, I think they're still going to be top seed, and I think they still will get a bye. But winning this will obviously just guarantee it. Yeah. Um. And they are absolutely the favorite coming in here. ASU looked dominating last week. So strong. Um. And coming into this week, they're taking on a team that they're already outclassed just by the standings. Um, so, ASU, heavy favorite to win this evening. Uh, they can't mess up their bye for semis. Uh, they're just way too far ahead. And that means they'll likely make the finals because thinking of how this plays out, uh, coming into postseason, uh, the way we have it for all the different tournaments is semifinal, top uh, seed gets a bye to semis. Mm -hmm. And then you play in-group uh, quarterfinals. So you're going to be playing against yeah. someone from your same division, uh, right. whether it's north or south. And then the winner of that plays against the semifinal buy from the Crossed. other division. So you kind of just swap over. So you go two. So you're going to go. You're going to eventually get two from each one. They're going to go drop to one, cross each other, and then that will play against. That's the semifinal. That's so the semifinals. Mm -hmm. The semifinal is what that buys. So, for oh, example... Yeah, sorry. So then whoever wins for the semifinals will go play against Utah. And then whoever wins for the semifinals for Oregon, or I guess for Utah's side, will play against Arizona. Yeah, for quarter, quarterfinals, then feed into the semis. So, for example, uh, for like the North Division, for example, you have Oregon now makes it to postseason. Right. That means they'll play against Colorado in the quarterfinal. Mm -hmm. And then even though Utah's from the North Division, they play against the South Division for semis. So whoever wins between Colorado and Oregon moves on to play most likely 
and almost certainly ASU. ASU. And then whoever ASU beats, or that was a little BM, but uh, whoever wins between ASU and either Colorado or Oregon will go on to finals. Um, oops. <laughs> <laughs> It's not scripted. It's just extremely unlikely that anybody takes a win off of ASU. Uh, ASU just looks so freaking strong. And so strong. I, I mean, if they go undefeated tonight in game score, then they'll match the 3-0 match score undefeated 12-0 game score that Utah has. And very similar standings, actually, in League of Legends mm -hmm. for the same schools. ASU and Utah. ASU's just really strong in their esports genre. Yeah. And so I, I'm happy to see the, that performance coming through. Uh, I just want to see Arizona put on a good showing against ASU. Yeah, let's, we'll, we'll see them put on a good show at least if they don't win. Yeah. So If they win, then that'll be an even more fantastic show. Let's give the viewers a recap of the standings so far, starting with what we just saw, the North Division. You can see Utah sitting pretty, super clean up there at the top. Absolutely perfect. Undefeated, perfect score. And then Colorado, we didn't see them this week. That means that Oregon has now beat Stanford. They'll move on to take on Colorado. And we mentioned Colorado v. Oregon, whoever wins between those in the quarterfinals that start next week, they'll move on to take on ASU. Because mm -hmm. even no matter what happens this evening, ASU will be the one to get that semifinal by, takes on that. So let's look at the same for South Division. Here's what happens for them. Right. ASU sitting pretty at the top. Um, UCLA next below, slightly better just because of game score over USC. Mm -hmm. So Arizona here, even if they get a win, uh, there's a not really a likely, unless they get a 2-0 massive game score victories over ASU, there's a very slim but almost impossible chance that Arizona would knock out USC, and that would only be possible if the special broadcast this weekend, UCLA versus USC, that'll be happening uh, live, actually, on campus. On, on yeah. USC's campus. Mm -hmm. Not only that, but it'll be on Saturday, and sa this Saturday. Yep. Uh, be sure to tune in for that. We, uh, you'll, you'll, you'll see us again. Yep. We'll be here. Yeah, um, so there is a slight, albeit next to impossible, possibility for Arizona to make playoffs if something crazy happens they tonight. Perfect. If they per perfect. Go absolutely perfect today. Yeah. They, if, they have to, though. If that goes perfectly tonight and there's an upset, um, f or rather UCLA just keeps uh, their win streak going and that they break uh, well, or, or rather fall to USC. If USC... Um, Falls, I'm I'm just talking around here. It's what am I trying to say? It's that the USC has to do very poorly on Saturday against UCLA. Have to do extremely poorly. Extremely poorly, and Arizona has to have flawless games tonight. They have to right. win. They can't even drop a single game. So Arizona's kind of a lot of pressure. They're playing against, honestly, the best team or one of the best teams that we have here in both divisions combined. I, they're 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 so strong. I I mean we see we've seen them in Tespa, we've seen them even in the Fiesta Bowl, we've seen them. I mean ah oh man, all over a ASU is just kind of just dominates the whole competitive scene in all tournaments around. They're doing extremely well. Um, again, likely to see the finals be ASU versus Utah in multiple titles for mm -hmm. Pac G. Actually, for my bracket, I know this isn't Overwatch, but for my bracket for League of Legends, I take Stanford beating. ASU to, t to go on to fight Utah because Stanford is on like this win streak and they've been looking like they're getting better and better whereas ASU super clean super strong but they've looked the same from day one to week eight like everywhere in between ASU has just done well and looked the same whereas Stanford looks to be getting better and better and better and better and maybe that momentum will bring them out so more on that lots tomorrow of, with League of Legends lots yeah riding on Stanford a lot is this is. tomorrow more League of Legends tomorrow, yeah. Okay. So Be sure to tune in tomorrow as well. Mm. Actually, just tune in for the rest of the week. Why not? I mean, uh, tonight is Overwatch. Then Wednesday is League of Legends. Thursday is Hearthstone. Friday is Rocket League. And then Saturday the extended, the now game. special broadcast this weekend, this week alone, is going to be coming out from live head-to-head -head fights on League of Legends and Overwatch, USC versus UCLA. They're playing their rivalry week out in person on campus. Now, we'll still be broadcasting here from Salt Lake City, but... We'll be doing handoffs even, like from the we're live doing the live crowd. Handoffs? We're gonna have supposedly supposedly player cams, maybe? Maybe. We're trying um, to see how much production value we can bring you guys. But this is gonna be super, super huge production here that we're gonna have on Saturday. So this is one that we're really 
pushing for, and uh, we want everyone, even if you don't watch Overwatch, we want everybody wanted to tune into this one because this is a big deal. This mm -hmm. is something that you know we have been planning the whole season. USC and UCLA are putting a lot of effort into this. We personally uh, here in Utah uh, are putting a lot of effort into this. Uh, you know, we we have a lot of time dedicated to the Saturday here to make sure that this is really important. I think League of Legends also. Yep. On that day, yep. It's going to be live on cam uh, on campus as yep. well. So really, really Huge big event. deal. And we cannot stress it enough to make sure you come tune in you, on Saturday. You want to see it because these do. two teams are actually UCLA and USC are actually close in both titles, right? They're very closely rated. It's not a blowout one way or the other like mm -hmm. we're likely to see tonight. No flame, just ASU is that strong. Uh, so. You want to see what should be close games, close matches in both titles, League of Legends and Overwatch. If you're a fan of either of those or even both titles, you want to be there on Saturday. But enough about Saturday. Tonight is the night. Duel in the desert. Let's look at the lineups for both ASU and Arizona because these players have put in a lot of time and effort to be here right. and to perform at Pac-G. So Arizona, you can see on the left side of your screen, they have been struggling, but they've got two great DPS players. I Progress, not GM. They're doing that damage with Bunny OH, Bunny O, and Bunny -O. Yugs. You're for the support players and double tanks there, Super Micro and Agent Snow with support, uh, excuse me, substitutes, Melon, Revenos, and Tyf Tyrfing? Ty how, how would you? Tyrfing? All right, I think I'll take it. All right, and you got those subs for there for Arizona. But ASU coming in, still the same roster. You got Chump, just Spades, Chris. Uh, I can't remember who the other one. We're missing it. There's some, some just technical difficulties. But sorry about that. Uh, DJ Dobro and ADHD. I think it... What's the other support? Oh, no. Chris? No. Chris, Chris is the tank. Oh. My brain? My brain. Uh, Chronodota. That's who it is. We're missing Chronodota there. Can't uh, forget about him. We oh. cannot forget about Chronodota. That guy, amazing top 500 tank player. Uh, he, I, I personally have talked to him. He, he's great streamer. He's great top 500 player, great tank player. Uh, really positive attitude from this guy. Uh, definitely going places with him. Uh, but we also have uh, ADHD there here. Uh, you know, instead of a median, um, both still really, really good uh, DPS players. But we also have Spades on tank as well. Mm -hmm. And that guy, we see him play. One of the strongest Reinhardts that I've seen in in in, in Pac G. Uh, he's so good. He plays a very strong Diva as well. Uh, you know, we saw Jojo Beans play a strong Diva, but you see Spades. He's I mean, he's eaten multiple uh, you know ultimates. We've seen him eat graviton surges. We've seen him eat. We saw him eat a May uh, a May ultimate last uh, last last week. We've seen him. I mean, his his Diva is phenomenal. It is. Uh, Jojo Beans already showed us how well you can do on that particular hero, and so if we see more of that, it'll be exciting to see. Let's take a look at the maps. Uh, again, we're going to be starting with Production Choice. It's going to be that new Bonnie once again to get us set off into the duel in the desert between Arizona and ASU. Players are just getting set up to get ready to take on this first map. But gotta say, uh, it was one of the closer showings in the last match we just saw this evening. It was. Uh, it was where we saw Stanford really show their colors. They're c capturing that first point so quickly. Yeah. They they got it. They did really good. Then they kind of struggled after they got that. And maybe they just didn't do the right uh, things that they needed. They didn't push up. They didn't push forward. They didn't, you know, kind of provide pressure. They just need a little bit more practice. Speaking of practice, ASU coming into this evening, one of the most practiced, one of the most well-performing oh, competitive yeah. teams. Sure. They've got multiple contenders level players on their squad, oh, yeah. and they play like it. They show off not only highlighting individual player skill, but how much practice they put in as a six-man squad, as a full cohesive team. And we see that happen, even when teams have given them a run for their money on individual maps, maybe rounds here and there, put them on their back foot. ASU answers. They say, oh, We've practiced against even this. Even if it's some sort of cheese, they said, we know what to do. So they're very comfortable against anything that you set them up against. ASU... They played against everything, really. Yeah. I mean, so once you feel comfortable and you've had all that practice and you know the answer to every question that can be brought to you, it's difficult to see them ever dropping even a single point here in this matchup really, this evening. I don't think they will. I, I really it's don't. It's unlikely. I, I think ASU really is... I think... This is this is likely to be a steamroll, uh, and it's not even it's not even really that we we don't have faith in Arizona or anything, but I think a, I think ASU really just has 
the stronger team, period. Yeah, it's the same thing of saying, like, if you take uh, some college basketball player, even really good one, your, your run-of-the-mill college basketball player, and you say, all right, go play against LeBron James, they're going to get smashed. Oh, yeah, LeBron it's James just gonna is going to dunk on him, literally, literally all the time. dunk on them. And that's not speaking to like any faltering of that college player. It's what are you supposed to do against the better player, the right. better performer? So when you see ASU come out with three top 500 players, contenders league level action, and clean team play, then you just throw up your hands and you say, uh, unless you have – Players of similar caliber and uh, an esports program that puts that much emphasis and that much practice time together and that much cohesion of a squad that's been together for a while, how are you supposed to answer it? You just can't. And it's not that you're bad. It's that that team is so good and it's so much fun to watch. Oh, ASU is so much fun to watch. I mean, we've seen them run wonky compositions before. We've seen them. I mean, we've seen them do just a little bit of everything. And... A brilliant team, honestly. Yeah, brilliant team. We'll see if they can have some brilliant play here on New Bonnie. First map of the evening, production choice. Again, this is the duel in the desert. Brought to you by Pac G. ASU versus Arizona hits New Bonnie in just a moment. It's going to be an explosive match for sure. We're, we've got bats riding on this. The chocolate coins are in the cup. I want my chocolate coins, ASU, so don't let me down because I like eating now I've got to be rooting for Arizona to stall as much as possible. He's running on that timer. All right, Jeez. Prairie Defense's defending objective A here is ASU. Arizona is looking to... So this is this is not where I'm, my chocolate coins are riding on quite yet. Not quite. I guess we didn't really bet if Arizona was going to take a point, did they? Did we? We I said, said they wouldn't. I said they wouldn't. Uh, oh, you said they wouldn't take a point, and I said ASU would take a point with two minutes left. Yes. Okay. All right. So okay. the first push comes through. Uh, not quite a dive composition. There's a lot of flank tools, and if your support and tank get taken out instantly, you're in trouble. Even more health bars getting so low. Oh my goodness! This looks to be almost an instant team wipe here. ASU doing so clean. They're moving as an entire squad. Jumpcha's like, I need a little bit lower weapon accuracy. I'm doing a little bit too well right now. <laughs> Purposely lowering your weapon accuracy. Little did you know, stat manipulation is also in Pack G. <laughs> Gladiator sprays, Chronodota, one of his favorite teams. He loves Gladiators. Yeah, ADHD almost has a pulse bomb available. The damage has already come so through. So quickly, so quickly. I mean, comparatively one to what one we team saw fight, earlier. You got 75%. <laughs> comparatively to what we saw earlier, where we were waiting like almost full rounds for a pulse bomb to come through, um, you definitely see the difference in somebody who has a lot more time, a lot more practice on that champion. All right, this is a little bit of more of a fight. Actually, well, hey, ASU lost out. someone. Yeah, they did. Chris. That's, 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 that's two picks there for uh, for Arizona. Arizona's actually on the point. They're contesting right now. Fates, Fates coming out, though. Oh, gets back in it. He got, he, yeah, he ultimate. He, he, he uses ultimate, so there, there was a purposeful D-Mech there. Crota Dota, though, taking out two, three people, I think. No, two people, and Chumcha cleaning up the rest. Uh, as you got on the point, they did, and they did a little bit of a doing tick. a good job. Not quite getting one of those thirds to be finished at all. Arizona going to regroup, look for another push here. ASU sitting on a couple of ultimates. Will we see the nano tracer, or do you see the nano visor that we saw earlier this evening? You know, I would actually laugh to see a nano tracer because it's 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 the scariest thing that you can because especially if the tracer is good man if you have a nano tracer coming and shooting you oh it's so so dangerous yeah. actually i'm jumping dangerously close dangerously low there he goes currently though to taking him out currently though to get two picks there, all right visor is available Nanovisors? will they nano it uh, uh, uh what that was clean i i've never seen someone hit scan so well in my entire life, Chronodotus on fire. ASU, they seem to be in full control uh, of the game. Not necessarily full control of their mouses. I think there might have been Chumcha some dust himself. There. Unlucky. Chumcha, Chumcha is now playing Bricky. Bricky? Um, we may have a problem with that. I can't actually... Play that. Maybe he's sitting inside and not actually using it. It's he's not. He's only he's getting ult charge from sitting in base. So on. he just no, likes the portraits. There. It's no, he's pretty. there. But we not allowed Brigitte here. Somebody's gonna have to get after him for that. Quite yet. They might throw this first game because of that breaking That's the rules. Not what we wanted to see from ASU. 
All right, Notch M gets at least one kill. He's pretty low, only 60 health. Has to get out of the self-destruct AoE. Does indeed, picks up a health pack. Looking for another flank. This could be pretty good. Chum Chum swaps off. He'll still yeah. get in. I'm sure there'll be some trouble that comes. We'll have production take care of that. But you can see, a little bit of a push here for Arizona. Actually gets a few kills. Agent Snow is the tank that falls. Now their push seems to be in trouble. ADHD says, hey, ADHD did you forget out. about me? I got Pulse Bomb available too. Quick double kill without his ultimate. And, and that's, that's, that's three kills. Wow, yeah. ADHD cleaned up Oof. pretty quickly there. Chumcha really wasn't needed. I, I mean, shouldn't have done that, but. All right, three. I think that's it for, two, uh, for Arizona. One. Overtime is overtime. ticking for just, what, uh, three? Just in. Oh, uh, they're on it. Band is hard to spell. Uh, uh, yeah, I don't know. Chumcha now is now on the McCree. Oh, nice. Stun. Doing a really good job. The DPI is ex insanely high. Uh, okay, Arizona. Wow. Arizona State. I... All right. Awkward. Yeah. yeah. I, uh... Um... Okay. Um, I, I just, so they didn't take a point. You still get to keep your chocolate coins for now. For now, uh, however, you might lose them all because I have high hopes that Arizona is gonna take this with two minutes remaining at least. I I, don't I know. think it's extremely unlikely that unless was, they continue uh, trolling a little bit. So, uh, you know, hats off to Arizona taking that. But we're sorry for the behavior. That we uh, saw there. So word for protection, it wasn't actually disabled, so that's why there was some confusion. So it's okay. not like a BM pick and run out or something like that. It's that uh, we forgot to disable it, so Our it didn't fault. really make a difference. Um, it did, I, now I, it's been communicated. It is even if it's still available, and we didn't want to like create a new lobby and swap that out. Then just now, all the players are aware once again. No baguette, no Bridget, no baguette. But also, you know, we're gonna we're gonna try to keep it a little bit more clean. Yep, so we're going to have to see uh, what happens. If there's going to be that p uh, more than two minutes remaining and you're going to get the chocolate, or if ASU will continue to, um, I don't know, is he playing with like a trackball or something? Because he's just like spinning. I think he has a DPI switch <laughs> on his mouse. <laughs> Must and be. You just, you just click it on your thumb and just... Yep. Just just throw your mouse, mouse all over the place and just spin and... We'll have to see, but switching works. sides. Now it's up to ASU to win some chocolate here for Zader. I want the chocolate, ASU. Don't let me down. Noon Bonnie see is these? the map. I and want to eat these. Oh, you can't see them anymore. Unlucky. Wait. But here we go. ASU on the attack. Will they be able to take it? We'll see how quickly they do. They got the Bastion on attack. A Bastion? I, I Bastion, have nothing to say Sombra. with this composition. I... Uh, yeah. ASU... Uh, not taking this seriously, that's for certain. Not taking it seriously. Oh, Bastion not. on high ground. Will we see configuration? Uh, wow, that, that, okay, I'm going to be honest. That, that Winston got melted uh, and, and <laughs> melted again. ADHD is taken out. Wow. Uh, but Corona uh, Dota on the Hanzo, not on the tank, getting picks. Can't picks. seem to get high progress, yes. though. Nice dodges there, Farah. Been an annoying fly in the sky. Actually, finally hits. All right, I got my chocolate. Yeah. All right. Yeah. That was definitely at least two minutes. That was uh, one of those. All right. So your winnings here, Zader. I've only got what four coins left, and now you've got two plus the six that are in here. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, eight to four so far. Gold coin is you so far. Territorial Cup seems to be. Uh, not much of a question anymore this far. ASU looking really, really ASU strong. ASU going to put their name on it one Again? more time. Most they likely. already took League of Legends, so this is, we're actually in Arizona right now. The teleporter is activated right now. Right. Um, and so this is ASU's for the time being. Will they hold on to it because of Overwatch going their way too? Remains to be seen, uh, likely to be seen, I should say, even with them kind of trolling right now. Kind of awkward to watch. Kind of awkward to watch. Give me a new one then. Uh, we don't know the map just yet, uh, but what do you want to see? What's your bet coming here? I got I got four coins, so you could you could get me all in if you if you even went with half of yours. All right. Well, I mean, you only have 
You what? You have four. All right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna bet four just to. It's you know. Anubis. We now it's know. It's Anubis. Temple of Anubis. I I'd say, okay. Here now, just because I want Arizona to feel like they have a chance. Okay. I'm gonna say Arizona is gonna at least cap the first point. Cap the first point. At okay. Least, at least cap, or maybe, or maybe just at least, uh, maybe get two ticks on the first point. Okay. At least two ticks on the first point, if not cap. And whether or not that happens, I'm gonna say I get it all if ADHD gets four ultimates in any one point, or no, in the whole round. Four ultimate, five in the whole round, because that's a while. Five ultimates in the round. In the whole like. In this. So set. like on one attack. Or, one or on one defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. We're all gold in coin, here. Still in my favor. He's still got the gold coin. That's the trump card here. All right. So we're about to load into Temple of Anubis in just a minute or so. Hit us with your predictions in the Twitch chat. And good luck to University of Arizona. It's painful to watch. Yeah, that was hard. That was hard to watch. It was hard to cast. It was hard to watch. It, I mean, the, the problem like here is just rough. Yeah. I mean, Zader, we talked about this. It's not that Arizona is bad. It's that ASU is just so the best good. of the best, right? They're, they're favorited to make it to finals and probably uh, win maybe even VS Utah, who's also looked really good. But Utah is just one of those teams that's well put together. They have really good players. Uh, but they've been established for a while, and that's why they're so strong. They've, mm -hmm. they've well-practiced, right? Well-oiled machine. Whereas ASU is that and higher-rated players. So ASU favorited for everything, meaning you put anybody who's not, you know, winning on their own anyway against other teams, not even going to stand a chance against ASU. And you can see ASU trolling their compositions, just kind of doing some trolly stuff, and still winning <laughs> handily and getting you some chocolate to boot. So uh, not much there. Uh... Yeah, ASU, giving Zader some sugar over here. Looks pretty good. Hey, who doesn't need sugar in their life? That is a better question. A better question than will Arizona take a point off of ASU here on Temple of Anubis. <sighs> Zader, it's painful to watch because it was, it was I've really had so many games I've played in that feel like that, that feel like I'm Arizona here, where it's like, wait, matchmaking, no please. Blizzard, come on. Wh how come they have all these high-rated players? And I'm right. stuck here with people who are like, this is my first time, Genji. I'm going to dive. I'm, I'm going to dive. They sound like that, too. Yeah. I, I mean, mean not, the not, 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 like, yeah, yeah, not to be like stereotypical anyway, but th that's totally what they sound like. Yeah, I mean, it's always some accent you can't uh, understand. It's some, like, so they're either yeah. speaking some, like, duo with someone, and there's some language you can't understand. You're like, how am I even supposed to communicate? I can't even beat these people 1v1 because they're better than me, and we're supposed to win with teamwork? I can't even talk to my teammates? Matchmaking, please. This is matchmaking, please, at its best. Rivalry week puts him up, and it's just unlucky. This is the six stack that you don't want to go yeah, against. Yeah, and it's hurting here for it Arizona. Hurts. ASU looking clean, it looking hurts. pretty, getting some chocolate here, winning out for Zader. Once again, my name is Jake Superman. You can check me out on social media at Superman Casting, Twitch, Twitter, and the like, Facebook too, supermancasting.com. I love casting all this packed G action, but it's not all I do. You can check out more. Yeah, and uh, you know, follow it in with Zader. Uh, you can follow me on Twitch, Twitter, anything. Basically, it's just Zader. Twitter is official Zader. Everything else is just pretty much Zader. But uh, yeah, I, uh, I, I try to stream Overwatch. I try to do as much as I can. I yeah, cast, so you stream uh, I cast over the here. weekend? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Catch us both, anywhere and anywhere. Might as well. Speaking of, we'll be teaming up once again for this weekend cast. It is Rivalry Week. We've got more titles coming your way. It's Tuesday evening, so you're watching Overwatch if you didn't, if you didn't know. If you didn't know. Tomorrow is more League was. of Legends. If you saw us last night, too, it was, some, it was the Duel in the Desert last night, and that's why you see ASU's name is right there. They won last night in the Duel in the Desert for League of Legends. Tomorrow is Hearthstone. Excuse me. Tomorrow is Wednesday. It's going to be League of Legends. I'll be here casting that. Hearthstone I'll be casting as well. Thursday night, Friday's going to be Rocket League. I have a new set of casters in here, and then you and I will team up once again for the Overwatch portion of Saturday's special broadcast. More rivalry coming your way. It's UCLA versus USC. They're going to be landing against each other on USC's campus, and we'll be... It's going to be a lot of fun. Yeah, it should be. I wish I was there. I wish I could like, I you wish know, I went drive to, over to I California. Wish, I wish we were all hauling out to California. It would but, be cool. Uh, you know, that's, that's a lot. Yeah. You know, we're at least 12 hours away, and... Money, um, yeah, gas money. I mean, hauling all the equipment, stage all lighting, equipment. all this stuff. 
I mean, I don't we're know, all volunteers I don't even know anyway. How much this, this headset costs, but it's probably more than my car. It's I'm actually lucky. probably not more than my car, but more than I would spend on a headset. Yeah, expensive equipment. Which, thanks, once again, University of Utah, they're the ones sponsoring this entire program. Uh, sub to the channel if you want to help out, too. They're hoping to do this in the future. Uh, not just hoping, they plan to, right? They're, they're looking to give out uh, I mean, even, like, production to. scholarships are in the works, possible for people involved. This is a full volunteer program. Not anybody's taking a dime out of this. It's just the University of Utah putting on the production side of Pac-G, which is a full-on volunteer uh, coalition of gamers from 10 different schools of the Pac-12. We Pac all just want to be here. We want to provide this content we, for you. We want to yep. push this scene. We want to make esports a thing, no matter how much it takes, no matter how much time we need to put into it. And it doesn't even matter if we don't get money. We're happy to be here for you. We're happy to be providing this content. Yeah, Pac-G Week 8, the last week of regular season play. This is Rival Week, ASU versus Arizona here on Temple of Anubis for Game 2. Game 1 was handily a victory for ASU. Nothing out of the ordinary there. Possibly getting more and more chocolate, Arizona. Last time I asked for more chocolate, I got it. So, Arizona. What? Uh, remind the viewers, Zader, what are the, the bets we have running for chocolate right now? Oh, yeah. So, I get chocolate if Arizona gets at least two ticks or caps, the first point, at okay. least. Uh, and you get chocolate if ADHD gets five ultimates in one round, either attack or defense. Yep. Here we go. ADHD. So here we go. What happens if neither of those things happen? Let me just take our split back. Does it just does it just go does it just go into the middle? Maybe. Maybe just take our split back. Do we just does it just split? Yeah, yeah, maybe it maybe just splits. Ooh, spades demecked already though. In trouble. The first to fall is actually the tank here for ASU. That's trouble. ADHD first That's kill. Scary. Fifty percent ADHD working towards that ultimate, but not gonna do much. Chrono Dota actually falls too. That's the full tank line gone for ASU. That could be a little bit more of a defense here from Arizona. They lose their tank and their backline too though, so they're kind of in trouble. AC is attacking? Yes, yes. AC is attacking. Mm -hmm. Correct. Defense looks okay a from Arizona. ADHD has one ultimate. We're counting. He hasn't used it yet, but he has it. It's good to go. Use it! <laughs> I want some chocolate. Alright, so uh, regroup here. Arizona is on the point. At oh, is Arizona not actually going to be were, able to stop this. ASU... Two oh, there's, there's, there's the ultimate. Okay, so we got Kay. one. One. I need I'm four. Counting on my phone. Can you slow down, ASU? It's probably going to be on defense. Right? Nope, they'll probably just win anyway. Uh, All mean, right. We might not get chocolate. I might not get mine. Might yeah, get maybe it's just back great. One more the other. Oh, but either way, I dive. Chum Chum ADHD. Three kills there. And uh, Arizona is wiped again. They're wiped again. That's, uh... Hmm. That's that was it. a very quick round. That was a very, very quick round. It's weird because with ASU uh, being such, I mean, they won in under two minutes. Right. Two points in I, under uh, two minutes. I, I, I Yeah, I bet just about, I think maybe just over two minutes, maybe. Now, as but eight minutes begin, they ended with 622. Yeah, but they get time oh, yeah. capping the first point. It was in the blink of an eye. That's what it felt it like. Was, it was pretty quickly. ASU I don't think I'm getting chocolate. Convincing attack. I don't know. There's not, an, there I don't not enough time for ADHD. They know. just win too fast. He got one ultimate and barely used it and then just kind of like ran around. And then, yeah. Tracer. I mean. Tracing out the territorial tracing. cup. <laughs> Right here on your screen. ASU's name is on it from League of Legends last night. Also, beautiful handwriting, by the way. Can we just take a minute to I have no appreciate idea who's that is. It ain't mine. This, this beautiful handwriting. You can read it. That's how you, you know can kind it's of not read, a gamer but by trade. It's I'm also a mix between caps and not caps and keeping you guessing here on the Pac G stream. Overwatch, kind of this is like after hours Overwatch, it feels like, because it's just so <laughs> trolly. It's like thanks for joining us. We've had it feels like I've drank this much or something because what are you going to say about these games? Are Just we going to put liquid stuff. in this cup and drink out of it? Can liquid fit in this cup? This, would you want to drink liquid out of this cup? I don't know. I mean, no, I don't even know, what, I don't even know where chocolate it in there came even. from. Zercher's is the name of the store. Zercher's. It's a party store. I think this hunk of plastic was like 10 bucks. That's how you, 10 know, bucks you, get, yeah, for that's plastic? How you know you're getting ripped off. The chocolate Ooh. probably costed less than the chocolate you can actually eat. I mean, you probably could eat this cup. But would do, not be don't enjoyable. recommend it. I don't recommend eating plastic. I don't even know if we can. Uh, how Ooh, we can. it is actually it is structurally foldable. sound. So clean. 
Territorial Cup is on the line once again. ASU has it from League of Legends last night, but here they are. Now they're looking to make a full-on defense. Got to reset the, uh, got to reset the, uh, the ADHD Man. bomb counter here. Maybe he'll get five in the entire game. I it's mean, possible. he's only gotten one. He's only gotten one. He's only gotten one. That's all the time he had for it. He was still getting the ticks for it and you know, getting old charge. But, I mean, if everybody's dead and you already win the game, you can't actually keep stacking it. Unless, of course, shooting the ground does it. Chumcha, you no. know, game one, firing at the ground to Soldier 76. All right, a little bit of a defense here. Looks pretty good. ASU. He's getting d -mac. Pretty good. Well, a little bit. It's not a perfect game for ASU. That's for certain so far. Chris does fall, 62% ult charge, trying to get a little bit more. Uh, they're not even staying on the point. Ooh, so maybe they are trying to get me a little bit of chocolate here at Zader. ADHD, 83% uh, no, on trying to fire. Get, they're trying to get me chocolate. They're trying to get the point. No. They're trying to give him the point. No. <laughs> they're giving him the point. Uh, I mean, I assume they can. I don't know. Okay, so one total charge of an ultimate has been used from ADHD last round. Uh, almost another one here. Almost another one. We'll say five in the game just because it's still probably unlikely. Is that fair? I mean, no. it's probably unlikely. Oh, chump chump chump. Rip. Uh, R.I.P. in pieces. You get for not paying attention. I mean, it's a cowboy, man. He's got other problems. Right. ADHD did use an ult, so there's two total. Two uh, total. All right, two total. We need three more, and he's already halfway to that next one. Will they hold it? You got two and a half minutes left. Oh, all right. There is Chris with the ultimate to try and hold it a little bit longer. This feels so trolly, Zader. Chump is in spawn. Chrono Dota free play. God, what? Not letting the what Widow take any any high ground at all. He didn't even take any damage before he He's used using Primal the Rage. ultimate as well. I progress. Smash and grab. It's not allowed to, to be. Stop monkeying around. To be. Infrared is still. Chumcha is still uh, back, in the, back in the spawn. ADHD has only gotten 30% of an ult charge since we last mentioned it. Which means he's probably just running around. Chumps is back. Maybe ADHD is like standing still. Where is he? I haven't even seen him in a little while. Uh, he's just hiding in that corner and recalling and then firing a little bit, recalling. That's, that's three. There we go. We got three total. For three. The whole he has match. to use it. Oh Chumps my god. There's a dead up. eye. Nope, that's pretty. He didn't get blown up. I thought nice he was dead get eye. Blown. Quick three kills in a row. Nice support there from. Not GM. Mercy. In the, in the back. They still are giving them the opportunity to get onto the point, but cheekily hiding around the corner. You're just sitting in front of the... Coalescence is available. Will they actually make a push? This is the last and final minute. They have to make a push pretty soon here. There's the sound barrier that comes through. They drop that beat. Will this tune be the one that they dance to? Not quite. Oh, Not enough goodness. beats. Even through the sound barrier. Two ticks? Boombox Aww. just gets shut down. ASU way too strong. Two ticks, one and a half. It's kind of there. Not GM just gets deleted out. Ah, three out of five alts. Unlikely. There's 30 seconds left here. Only two thirds of that fourth possible ult charge to come through from ADHD. Chocolate not gonna go my way. Unlikely. Chocolate's not gonna go my way either. Actually, it's gonna go both ways. It's gonna be split back yeah, with split each back other. To us. Unlucky. We're both gonna get our chocolate back. Uh. But Age of Snow, he's, he's going to get on the point. He does have a Discord art on. He has two supports chasing him around. But now he's dead. The play-by-play -play here is like, it's uh, what do you say? ASU does it again. ASU <laughs> takes round two. Okay, so ASU, uh, two quick wins, map after map. Um, it's not over. Will we see the reverse sweep from Arizona? It's possible. Incredibly unlikely. It's um, a very almost certainly low not chance. But it's possible. Yeah. What is that DPI? How? It's like at least 5,000. And I would get motion sick playing on that, to be honest. Like I, I, so I played PUBG for the first time. Not PUBG. That was Fortnite. Um, for the first time a couple weeks ago um, during our spring break. A little break there from PUBG. Uh, and it was, like, my DPI was set so high, and I didn't change it because I was still, like, learning or whatever. And I well, you also play League of Legends. 
It takes a little bit higher DPI and it works for League of Legends because third person from like aerial top down view, but then the third person right behind or even like a first person is like, you move too fast. And I just started to get like, I never get motion sick playing video games. And all of a sudden I get motion sick playing this shooter and I'm like, what the heck? I can only imagine how sick I would get apparently with that kind of DPI playing first it's gotta person. It's got to be a DPI switch. I really hope yeah. he's not playing. Oh man, I was, I was talking during my yawn the whole time. <laughs> The a DPI switch like that, I, I've heard from some players I know that are closer to the, the competitive scene for shooters that the lower the DPI, the better. It's better for sweep I shots. 800. Like, yeah, so I used to play 400, but I just recently switched to 800 because this isn't Counter Strike, friends. Yeah, any, you don't play at 400 DPI. Anything l like higher than 1,000, and you're kind of not doing yourself any favors. So it causes kinda, actually causes problems. Yeah. It causes pixel skipping. Yep. It causes you going too fast. Even if you have a really nice machine, you, you can cause yourself some problems. Yeah. So, so uh, definitely don't don't play. 800 is key. Not I the think. 5K that we're seeing there. <laughs> not the uh, Chumcha kind of just trolling us. Just because your mouse advertises high DPI doesn't mean you should use it. That's true. That's true. Just because it can go to 16,000 doesn't mean you should do 16,000. That – can you even, like, aim anything? Like, I feel like I'm even, like – I'm pretty sure you I'm don't even – I'm pretty sure, like, a fly would make, would make your mouse, like, move across the screen. Like, you can, like, blow on it, and right. then it moves, like – and you actually did a full 360, <laughs> and it actually keeps going, because it's like, did you want to keep going? Your mouse on the edge of the screen already? It's like, okay. It just doesn't recognize. Next map, Lijong Tower again. I love this map. We seem to get it every single uh, matchup. Maybe. Actually, actually I'm, I'm seeing it here, but I don't know if they've decided. Yep. It will be Lijong. I was right. I like it. King of the Hill. Always a little bit more scrappy. Uh, a lot more fighting, it feels. I... I so it is fun to see for competitive play. Yeah, let's separate these back out. Uh, it is fun to see for competitive play how um, you can have flanks that happen, different compositions for uh, longer maps, uh, or it bounced out, unlucky. Uh, but for King of the Hill maps, it's always the same in the sense that everybody's always fighting, and that's what I like always. to see because it's more fun to cast, it's more fun to watch. Um, people are always dying, respawning, and then... It's always comboed ultimates because if somebody uses an ultimate and you have yours, why not throw it there? And you all happen to be there. You don't have to like, oh, you, you used it and you're you all the way over there. You just know your team's gonna be there. Yep. You know. Might as well. And, and so you just you just throw it out. It's pretty fun. Especially I like if you're Zarya. Yeah, I just like the grab bomb combo. It can be really I really. Think everybody fun. loves a good graviton surge. Yeah, graviton surge, coalescence, or the pulse bomb, or all three. If you're crazy. All of the above. None of the above. Yeah, if you can get ult charge with those three on your team. If the answer, if there's, if there's an all of the above answer in a multiple choice test. Oftentimes it is. That's always the answer. Always? All right, you heard it here first from Zader. He knows what's on your finals this semester. I actually don't. Don't take <laughs> my word of advice because that's probably false. True and false questions, though, might be on your exams. And he just told you false, so now maybe you take his word on that. All of the above... So it's always D and false. If you get those on your exams, trust this guy. Don't trust me, please. Okay, don't trust him. Please. But what you can trust him on is some information about Overwatch. So talk to me. What compositions do we normally see in competitive play? Probably not going to see him here because the team's kind of trolling Triple ASU. Tank. Triple, Triple tank. tank. Triple uh. Tank. And like I said before on these, uh, on these control point maps, King of the Hill, you see a lot of Triple Tank. You want that big health pool. You want to have a lot of uh, utility. We might not see it. We might just see Ryan Zarya combos. We might see dive, but again, you, Ryan Zarya triple tank. Uh, it's usually pretty standard. All right, here's my bet. Uh, going all in with my four coins here, Zader. Um, I'm gonna act like the gold coin is mine too. Toss it in there. Here's my prediction: is that Chris here is only ever going to nano Chrono Dota. Okay. For a whole hog. A nanoed well, whole hog. It will happen once. A whole hog. Uh, my my guess is that oh, we're gonna do something for Arizona. I guess agents. It's uh, a hard one actually. Will I progress get an ult off in this round? 
Is that a yes or no? That is a yes. Okay, all right. I yeah, progress I will get one I ultimate. Put four in. You have to match me, man. I need my chocolate. All right. So I either, progress will get one ultimate. I progress will either get an ultimate, and the ultimate has to kill someone. It has that's, to kill somebody. It has to be a useful ultimate. ultimate. Just, that's yeah. what it has to be. That, that's the key. It has to be and it. Chrono Dota will get nanoed by Chris. That those are the two options here. We'll see what happens. Hit us with your predictions. Which one do you think? Do you think Zader's right, or do you think that Superman here is going to get you some chocolate? Just because Dota. his name is Superman doesn't mean you have to support him. Yeah, that's right. Not everybody likes Just because likes he Superman. has a cool name doesn't mean he's cooler than me. Your real name is, like, uh, mine is actually the most popular name of the 90s, so it's like, oh, who doesn't have my name? I've never met another Xander in my life. So that's a pretty cool actual name. I had to make one up, and actually it's like, you know, from my educational background. It's not quite Superman, you know, the big S on the chest guy. I love that character, but I chose the name more because I say philosophy and ubermensch Nietzsche goodness. But enough about that. Trying to do to getting good hooks. The did nano, it? I didn't get to see where it was used. Did you? I didn't I didn't see it either. I win then. I'm just kidding. I don't no. know. It was probably on Chumcha, let's be honest. It was nano bad. Bastion this is very, very scary. I didn't even realize they had Bastion. But, uh, you know, then again, it's been hard paying attention to, to this. Well, uh, well I progress to use an ult. Is is uh, he got a, he got a kill? Okay, All right. So my you bet, win. My bet has win, uh, so far has won. Okay, we'll see we if I get see, any of mine we back. We didn't see where Chris's ultimate went, so we're not going to count your bet out yet because we yet. didn't see where Chris's ultimate went. Krona, Dota, whole hog, almost there, two thirds. Chris getting his way back up there too. Nice ult charge coming up. See, mine's a little bit harder because you have to have those together, right? It has to be the ult charge there for both Chrono Dota and Chris. Looks like they, they might get closer. Chris time. is getting closer. And I don't know. Closer. Chris can build ult charge pretty quick, quickly. Yep. Chrono Dota getting close to his. Uh, I think it's his first whole hog that would come through. The second. I, th I saw him use right? it a little right. earlier. They're they're almost the same though right now. Genji tried to ult through. It didn't really. There's do the whole anything. hog ready. Okay, it's ready. Oh, oh, whole oh. hog is coming through. Nano him. Nano him. Do it. I want my chocolate. No. <sighs> oh, now it's going to take another three minutes for him to get whole hog back up again. Or just nano him without whole hog, right? Is that fine? No, because I said it. No, you, you said Oh, look at that. Bastion DPI. Oh, my goodness. There is some hacks onto that computer going on there. He's just like spazzing out. Some sort of virus came through. ASU, 96%. Will it come out? Take your chocolate, save. That's just nasty. Oh, wait. Maybe they'll choose we for the next We have another map. It's possible we have that Chrono two. Dota and Chris will still choose to have the same heroes, and we still might see a whole hog get nanoed. Maybe. 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 So I'm not going to take all the chocolate yet. I am going to put it on my side. <sighs> He's got the territorial cup. I'm going to put the gold. I'm going to put the gold. I, I'll get the gold chip on my side. All right. Man. Zader, these are so tough to watch because it just feels painful. Like I it's feel, hard. I feel it right here. Now, maybe I should see a doctor about it, but it's that like every time I see Arizona try and push, ASU is just like it's just canceled. It's it's, it's, it's yeah, they they prevent all pushes. No, Corona Dota's oh, no, not there's even on no a more Roadhog anymore. anymore. I get all the chocolate. You okay, let you listen to it. Nano hands. Oh, ah. money maker. All right. Guys, I have so much chocolate right now. And I have none. Cavities. Yeah. <laughs> who who actually wins here? All right. So, <laughs> new point. Point unlocks in just under 10 seconds. Arizona maybe will look for the reverse sweep. The will point. they actually take this to sudden death? <sighs> maybe. The here we go. All right. Chocolate. Arizona's on the point. They look to almost have it. This is... B, they've got five on the point to just the one. They're barely in. Oh, three, two, one. Oh, contesting oh, so once again. Will it be there? May tries to just the sit May. on the point. Oh, still inside. Contesting once again. And, and Chumcha just there goes wipes them out. That's a triple kill for Chumcha. Nicely played. <sighs> this is painful to watch. Uh, Painful to watch. So painful that he didn't even want to be watched. Yeah, uh, gonna auto swap the cam there because you can't really see Genji when he falls that far. You can far. hear him scream in pain. Yes. Just sad. Okay, all right. So uh, nobody's actually capped the point. <laughs> oh. Yeah. 
Nobody has capped the point. Nobody We've been in game for a couple minutes already. We've seen some ults be thrown, but nobody's actually capped the point. <sighs> Not GM. Dangerously low. Not GM. Not alive. ADHD. Picking off people. DJ Dobro. Is not GM Being a, a GM or no? By Genji. Know. Yeah, let me look it up. Because either he's lying to us or he's just telling the truth. Over buff? Or maybe he has been GM and we just don't know. Arizona falls. ASU finally captures the point. You can see Arizona, University of Arizona has actually put a lot into this fight. Stopping ASU from actually capping the point until, what, has it been three, four minutes? Ultimates available, a couple of them. Sound barrier could get matched if they look for a full-on 6v6. Looks not to GM be a split. Not GM. He's not GM. So, tell us the truth. He's M. Good guy. Good guy, He's not GM. GM. Okay, there is the hand soap ultimate. Actually hits no one. I didn't even see a hit marker come through from that dragon strike. So, But hey, at least somebody controls the point. At least somebody controls the point. It is contested right now, though. You can see Arizona might be looking to fight here because all those ultimates were kind of just wasted there from ASU. Chronododo didn't actually get anything out of his Dragon Strike from the hand sub. See Lucio just running around on the wall. Will he get hit? Yes. That was almost, it looked like a direct hit even. Hey, High progress here. Arizona Doesn't took well. the point. Ooh. ASU doesn't 3%, only halfway done for ASU. This might actually get turned around. Reverse sweep. Will we see it, Zader? I don't know. Chronododo just took out like three members of the team. Hmm. Points back. Kronida has ult again. Hmm. Still don't have a tank. Recapped for ASU. Uh, Full damage uh, composition, it feels like. Even the Lucio, the way I'm seeing DJ play this out, he's just he's like straight up in your face, knocking people. Maybe he has been knocking Chumcha off the edges. It's not really an inting Genja. It's that Genji keeps getting pushed off. I'm just kidding. You can't have team hit. Oh, but not him. Took out Chumcha and the turret. Ooh. Didn't find the reef. Oh, there we go. He found DJ Dobro as well. Kona Dota found him. And the sleep is on Bunny O. Hmm. 1v3. Kona Dota taking out more. I, I don't know what to say. Ooh. Here's what to say Arizona, comeback, question mark. 16% to 86. Yes, they did. The sleep just came through, and that's going to be a dead Chris. Even though he gets you to sleep, it's going to be a monkey smacking you in the face. Takes him down. Ooh, laser beams for the win. Agent Snow does have Primal Rage available. Painting the walls with his picture. Now trying to paint the walls with Electricity. ASU, actually. <laughs> Getting even closer to doing so. <laughs> All right, ASU has to recap the point if they actually want to win. Not going to some sort of... Sudden death. Oh, oh, I progress. ADHD caught sleep in there. That was there. a pretty good snipe. Yeah, that was. Right click for the win. Will we see more of it? There is a body hit. Not quite enough. Spades down to half health. Over on the side, the infrared almost available for eye progress. Tracking these guys pretty well. There's the infrared, and it comes through. We'll help out the team. DJ Dobro going to take it out. Woo! DJ down. The Mercy doing a lot to keep eye progress healthy while he's doing that. Dragon Strike once again goes wide. You can see Arizona's just on the side. Actually, they're getting really close to maybe taking this round. 72% to 86%. Infrared awesome. now times out. Eye progress is going to have to track people with his own game sense. Hmm. He's going to actually have to look. Not GM. No loves to die right there. Uh, I don't know. Maybe ASU's going to give it Ooh, to them. The res comes through. And Soldier dies. I progress with the nice headshots coming through. Need a little bit more. One more. Do it. That's a five kill streak here for I progress on the Widow. Doing just fine. Down to about half health, though. Going to have to call over the Mercy for a little bit more healing. Or the Lucio. There's the Mercy. It'll do and enough. 99%. Overtime it is. Will they actually be able to hold this? You can see ASU making the last little push here. Divas on the point. Ooh. Ooh. They got to take it out. Did. Still overtime ticking, 99%. Oh, it's ticking down. Oh, back on the point here. Chumcha. Will the point go Three, to two, University Oh, my of goodness. Arizona University of Arizona takes a point against ASU. We have ourselves not a series, but at least a game here. Round two complete. It's one to one. This is going to take us to sudden death. What's going to happen? What do they do? AC is not going to run a troll composition, and they're going to take the point. How quickly? Uh, pretty quickly. Do they lose any percent? I don't I don't know. Maybe maybe they're going to give up percent again. But uh, my bets are they're not going to throw this game completely. Oof. Throwing. They threw that match. 
But are you sure? I'm pretty sure that was carried by iProgress. By the time they thought, oh, maybe we shouldn't be trolling anymore, iProgress was like, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, sir. iProgress. There's the full dive from ASU. Okay. This They're running be. a real composition this time. Yeah, that should be pretty dirty. Defensive really matrix pain. comes through, gets them on the inside track to the point. And you can see iProgress trying to put out the pain with the rockets from above. The pharmacy composition might be able to work out for them, but this full dive from ASU is so hard to deal with. You can see Genji's caught in the mix, has to get out. Nice reflect. Keeps him alive for just a half second longer, but he's going to fall. There is the full four kill streak here for Five. Arizona. Five down. Will they get Six. all of them? Six. Uh, iProgress has already respawned, so not quite the team wipe, but pretty much. And we'll see if Arizona sticks to the Stanford strat of one by one. Nope, they're going to wait in spawn for the respawn. Regroup, they might be able to, but percentage points are taking here. For ASU, they're looking to maybe take this 100 to 0 with this real composition that they've actually drafted for themselves. You can see Arizona has Lucio. They do have an actual composition of sorts, but they're not anywhere near the point, and they're already struggling to take this fight. Oh my goodness, Trump's critical damage. Yes, indeed. Lucio has to run from the fight, and that means your healer is kind of out Arizona of position. Arizona also is being taken out Ooh. by Chris. That is a scary monkey with Primal Rage available, and he's still full health. Ooh, on the point the here, cap. ADHD. The back cap was scary. Yeah, he almost gave it up. I progress trying to carry, right? He was the widow that was keeping things alive last round. Got them here too, the third round, but uh, gets caught there trying to do the little cheese back cap there. All right, Primal Rage. He is very, very scary. Chronodota finally has that timeout. He's actually kind of in an awkward position here. Oh my goodness, there is at least one kill. ADHD though, on the flank, catching people out with Pulse Bomb available. Is that his They're fifth? Just holding him at spawn. Has he even gotten five Pulse Bombs in the entire evening? Maybe not even yet. Maybe that's his fifth that he's holding right there. Oh, he does use it. Yeah, Doesn't we'll actually give land. We'll some more chocolate. Oh, just for saying something that we'll might not you, be true. We'll you're, give you some more because ADHD is getting old. What a, what a soul. You, you're a Plus kind Plus, you like the chocolate, person. so I'm not just going to... I do like to take him away from you. Me. All right, so we got some teamwork but here. But they're holding him in spawn. On the caster desk. Yes, the spawn camping is real here for ASU. You can see ticking up. There hasn't been a single point on that percentage bar for Arizona. This is the sudden death here. It was kind of just the trolling from ASU that gave a point over to Arizona. Bring us to round three, but 90%. Oh my goodness, the back cap is real. 1%, 2%, 3, 4, four five, five, 6, six seven. 7. Will eight, they even make it to double digits? Nine, it remains to be seen. Ten, Contesting point at 10%. 11. 11 is still ticking. It's getting up there into the teens. This is just crazy. Oh my goodness, the comeback might be real from Arizona. This is what we saw in the last match. It's possible. It's possible here. University of Arizona still holding the point on this contest. The Primal Rage falls. Agent Snow actually is down. That means the tanks are Did down. Did they just transport a Pulse Bomb on a Diva Bomb? That was clean. They almost made it happen. Genji gets caught trying to climb the wall. Oh my goodness. All right, it's back on. Over 30% though. Arizona almost made that full comeback. Mm -hmm. 90s. Contesting. 95 contesting. Oh Again. my goodness. This Super could micro. be so close here. Zader, it's actually a close here game. Here comes the ultimate. Are they going to die? Close. They're not going to die. Contesting? They're still contesting. contesting. Agent Snow? That's it. Does his dead body count? Can they get that kind of buff? Nope. Oh, contesting again. Camping. Ooh, Chumcha jumps off the ledge. Chumcha made a mistake. It's a 5v6. The monkey is back. And by 6, I mean 2. The because monkey is being Arizona punched. Oh, punching Violently. monkeys. Chris, you do not, not punch monkeys. No, don't do that. I, I very oh, much no, he punched him say don't do that. He's, he's it's been over time for forever. Let's see how fast that bar deletes. If they can actually get everybody out. And it's gone. Sound barrier just barely comes available. ASU wins. <sighs> okay. ASU won the match. Wow. We're, we're still going to play one more game. Yeah, we're still going to see a game for um, just to. Oh, all right. Here is. Bastion play the game. Oh, the cute little heart there on the bird. Birdie, birdie. All right. Just mowing people down. Laser. Was that a graviton that kept people there? It must have it's been. It's a May. Right? It was a May. Oh, okay. Nice. Frozen. Do, 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 oh. Do, do. Oh. 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 Overkill. Okay. Just making sure, you know, tracking your enemies, making sure to keep clicking until they stop moving and then some. Do we have a Sharpie? We do have a pen. Let me see if I have a Sharpie. But that's going to be the win for ASU. I do have a Sharpie. Here you go. Make sure you're in the market that it's League of Legends and Overwatch. Because now we know who's taking the Territorial Cup between go. ASU and Arizona. Again, we'll still see a fourth game here. Should be pretty fun here to see. Uh, ASU kind of showing off. League 
L O L laugh out loud and then two zero. My handwriting is even better, guys. Don't worry. Seems to be. All right. So we're gonna get that fourth game on your screen and uh, scream. <sighs> scream. Scream like you want Arizona to maybe take this game. All right, here's the better prediction that might actually come true that's a real prediction of something that could happen, uh, not just trolley stuff. Here's my prediction. ASU lets Arizona win this next game. Yep. Doesn't really matter, right? That's a good prediction. So maybe? And I will put I will put one, two, three, four. I'll put one chocolate in there for that. No, we'll put all the chocolates in. Okay, this is for everything. And the gold one. Oh, the gold coin too? All right. Once again, I am Jake Superman Mori. Catch me on social media at the handle Superman Casting, supermancasting.com. Uh, for more high-level play, I tend to cast things that are not quite as trolly as this. But uh, what can you do when ASU is just trouncing every single round, uh, and the only time that they lose stuff is because they're jumping off ledges on their own? And I'm also Zader. You can catch me on Twitch, Twitter. This guy streams some Overwatch, so I if stream. you want to see some high-level play, his stream is one to see. High-level. 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 Maybe a little high-level. I'm gonna just see some. I don't know. Trash Widow. Trash uh, Widow. Uh, uh, huh. Yeah, but no, I stream. Catch me on Twitch, mostly. That's what you'll see me all the time, every day. ASU has one more showing this evening against Arizona. Um, they did actually drop a point, though, at one point. They did. At one point, they dropped, they dropped a point. They dropped a map. Yeah. That was weird. Maybe to be nice. Maybe they just weren't playing well. I don't know. I don't know. Well, it's going to be watch point Gibraltar. 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 Uh, Watka point Gibraltar. Is the name of the map here? That's the official pronunciation there from Blizzard themselves. They've let us know um, they're actually our production. Um, not only is ASU trolling, but so is everybody here on stream. So is the world. Yeah, the world, the world is, is kind of trolling right now. But at least we have our video games. Once again, this is going to be game four of four. Won't make it to five because we already saw three wins here from ASU, which means they have solidified even further. It was not under contention, but solidified even further that first place seed, which gets them the semifinal bye. Be going to the semifinals. Yeah, Rivalry Week. They've just been putting on a clinic in every title they've been showing us. So congratulations, ASU. They're moving on to semis and at least a couple of titles here. They're doing pretty well over in Hearthstone 2. I'm not actually up to date on the standings for Rocket League, but if you want to know more about that, join us for Friday. That's when we're going to show you more of Rivalry Week for Friday. Um, Rocket League. Winston uh, has come through in almost every single round, and Winston Diva. we've been monkeying around heart, along with him. We love monkeying around here, yeah. don't we? Yeah, it's pretty fun. Sometimes it's nice to just have fun. Yeah. You broke the trophy. No, I repositioned you, you broke it. the trophy. He broke it. You broke it. You altered it. He fixed it. The Territorial Cup. Uh, this is my... Ooh, who am I now? Am I Orissa? This is my Orissa cosplay. Oh! Even more of Orissa cosplay, because every time I play Orissa, somehow I still seem to die, because my shield doesn't do enough, and I almost seem to always forget when I play Orissa that I have a left... Like, I have a shift key. <sighs> Shouldn't my shield be enough Nobody tank tanky enough. Nobody can hook me through if I have a shield up right. right so right. stop it. <laughs> How come I always die when I'm supposed to be a tank? It feels bad, man. It hurts. Best tank in A. Best EU. Tank EUA. K R. A U A K R. Hey, that's almost like E A E. We're in the electronic arts, entertainment. Uh, entertainment arts and engineering building here at the University of Utah. Dedicated esports gaming, right? You can come here to study this stuff. How cool is that? Game and science fully degree. Sport. Yeah, science degree. All right, so Overwatch, game four of this match here. Oh, my goodness. Corona Dota finally getting some picks here on the side, swapping out those rolls. You can see getting a little bit of a push. Watch point, your classic Overwatch map. 
I like this one. There's some kind of points uh, along like chokehold areas that are a little bit more cancerous than Still others. Still playing with no tank. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what did I say? My prediction was that they'll they'll let Arizona win. Arizona actually kind of putting on a little bit of a defense here. I think ASU is just like accidentally pushing. Hey, the, the payload was contested. Yeah. I think like we've Still seen this now, tonight though. where ASU just kind of forgets that there's a payload to be pushing with them. And they just kind of run forward and fight. Maybe we'll see more of that. Okay, Chumcha here on the Reaper, kind of finding out eye progress. Will the body shots be enough? Oh my goodness, half health here for eye progress. Chumcha going to get chased out. Finds the healing. Gets rid of the Venom Mine and gets away. Teleports away to safety. Oh, but Widow v. Widow. ADHD actually gets taken out. Not going to have the Tracer. This is kind of like the perfect map for Tracer, but it's going to be Chris. Plays through. Oh, oh my what? goodness. Okay, that's one way to do it, right? Spin around in circles. Spin around in circles. Present your head in a circle. Yeah, do you want profile or do you want face shot? Well, you can't get either of them. If you keep spinning in circles, the 5K DPI, it's actually strategic now at this point. It's they actually the gone. best way to play the game. Yeah. No. Little did you know. Ah, <sighs> Well, ASU in full control. They ASU is in, in full control. Yeah. Uh, not of themselves, it seems, though. Somehow winning the game, but kind of just doing trolley stuff. Um, does the Dragon Strike actually find anyone? No, it doesn't. I didn't even There's also High Noon on the point in front of a wall. Didn't find anyone. It's High Noon. It's and high noon. maybe there's something... Uh, maybe it's a cry for help here from McCree. If it's High Noon and he's that drunk that he's staring at a wall... Um, he yells that out to let us know, look, this is my cry for help. I need an um, Uber home. I'm an, I'm, yeah, I need an Uber. Get me I'm home. I'm not driving. Yeah, Take it's, my keys. it's high noon, and I'm staring at a wall. I'm not even sure if I'm staring at a wall. I'm actually, I have a gun, and I'm this drunk. There's seriously something problematic right now. Mm -hmm. um, Chris is yeah. in the back line. The very back line. He's in the very back line. Ooh, will he actually get a He's in the top of the line oh, back line. Oh, oh but he got Widow out. Venom Mind. That's what you got to do. Set up your vantage point and then try and there he is. find him out. Oh. oh, misses the first shot. Nice sweep shot for the second. Progress down to 50 health. Less than 50 health. Can't actually land it. Oh, my goodness. Chris with the strafing. He's actually... Oh. Hiya. See you, Ned. And he just gets out of there. All right. <laughs> and just tracer gameplay. Real interactive there. Oh. Hiya. See ya. Good night. Kind of, oh, stunned, dead. This I don't. I don't know what to say. Here's what to say. That's one dead cowboy. It's high noon somewhere. Wait, actually, is yeah, it would be somewhere. It's Probably the middle of the ocean. Right five o'clock somewhere. Somebody in the Twitch chat, let me know where is it high noon on planet Earth right now. It's high noon. Over our bets. Uh, over the bets. What were the uh, Oh, the ASU lets Arizona win. That oh, didn't happen. That didn't happen. Maybe they'll let him get a full push. Maybe they will on the side swap here. It's possible. But yeah, somebody in Twitch chat let me know where is it high noon on planet Earth. I actually don't know if it can be 12. It's 24 hours, right? Isn't it like somewhere, somewhere on the Earth? It's well, I, don't know. I don't know if time zones work like that. I don't we're study time. We're smart in SMRT. We know the things about the the world. S M U R T smart. Smart. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Very smart. Uh, it's high noon somewhere, probably. It's five o'clock somewhere, but not quite five o'clock here. I mean, it's getting late, so I wouldn't blame McCree. It's past uh, my dinner time. Getting a few drinks in this late, but maybe, at high maybe noon. Maybe he's a morning drinker. That is problematic. I mean, mimosas are a thing, but it's problematic if you're Drinking so like drunk that you're firing bullets into a wall and you are staring at the wall. And screaming at the top of your lungs. <laughs> it's high <laughs> noon. Dude, the ricochet would probably kill you. I mean, especially I mean, if it's like hollow points and they're just like exploding in your face. Yeah, you're actually true. dead. Yeah. And that's how high of noon it is. <laughs> yeah. Crossfaded noon is crossfaded noon. All right, so. But it's Utah, so we don't need my hand. 
Yeah, probably not. Uh, watch point Gibraltar. Once again, we're switching sides. Round number two. Um, we're just watching a replay right now. A replay of what happened last time, yeah. but side swap. Yeah. Go Arizona. We like Ike. We like this is not Super Smash Bros. Yeah. Okay. Nobody's landing their first few shots. Spades actually kind of low, so I tell a lie. Spades actually gets first blood. Did the res come out? Nope. Nope. No res. Chronodota on the Hanzo still. Hand soap looking pretty clean. Pretty, pretty clean hand soap there. DJ Dobro being a DJ Brodo. Yeah, he's got the tunes. That worked. Oh, he doesn't. He's not even. Man, he's not even tuning. He's, he's not tuning. He's just microwaving. Not GM is tuning. He's got that teleporter already. Not General Motors. Maybe not. Maybe no. No, he doesn't. I'm wrong. Don't listen to me. He's 50% to that teleporter. Hmm. Chumcha playing Widowmaker Zenyatta here, looking for those snipes. You know, if we were still on um, sort of, sort of, uh, where is Li Jong? That I mean, I'm sure it's a fictional location. Even if it's not, uh, I mean, that's Chinese, right? So wouldn't be. Uh, Chad's telling me that it's it's noon, pretty much high noon, 12:30 over in Tokyo. So pretty close. Pretty close. Um, is there a Japanese map? You mean a map of Japan? Yeah. Like, well, I mean, like for for Overwatch, because Li Jong is probably Chinese. Um, is there like uh, a map yeah. that's f like in Japan, located Hanam in Japan? Hanamura. Ooh. Ha uh, Hanamura and Li Jong so. are Hanamura. The two. It's all. More I'm Asian, almost certain. Asian e maps. Yeah, not all Asians the same. No. Asian E. Uh, I think I think you're right. I think Hanamura would be the Japanese map. There you go. So it's high noon in Hanamura, but we're here on watch point. Okay, Spades actually has a decent uh, flank, but he gets caught. Dude, I don't even know what to talk about in these matches anymore because it, there's not really real gameplay. Control I, compositions. Uh, I mean, ADHD's on Tracer. Uh, Chumcha is on Zenyatta. Uh, they're still not playing a tank character. Yeah, the problem has not pushed to the first checkpoint. The problem is, is we've gotten to the point where ASU has trolled so hard that Arizona is kind of like, all right, let's just troll too, right? Like, I don't think they're trolling though. I think, I mean, they they have a real team composition here. I mean, maybe the, not the Symmetra, but I mean, other Symmetra than that, on I mean, offense, the true Overwatch meme. I, I don't know. It's I mean, just they seem to be some. I mean, most of their players seem to be putting putting an effort in. I progress is at least on his comfort pick, and we've seen him pop off on the uh, now popped he's off the roof comfortably in the ground. <sighs> Unlucky. Okay. Resetting. So Arizona looking to make one more push. They got a minute left to make that first checkpoint. Do you think ASO, ASU seeds the first checkpoint? Let's make these predictions come out. No. Question mark. Yeah, I don't think so either. I mean, they're basically spawn camping at this point, so. But he's getting lasered by a Symmetra, and that's the worst fear as a Tracer, is to be lasered by a Symmetra. Dude, Symmetra's on both sides. I know, what that's is scary, this? man. DJ Dobro has a shield generator out. Do you know if um, Symmetra turrets attack other Symmetra turrets? No. No, they don't. Have you tested that? I and know? you call yourself an Overwatch cast. You call yourself an Overwatch player, and you don't know. All right. So, here ah! we are, 20 seconds left, and they have to make it 90 meters, 80 meters. That's actually quite a ways to go. They have to round that corner completely. You can see ADHD finally just chasing down, back line, gets one. There is a nice pulse bomb, quick double kill there for the tracer. Three, two, two one. one. Hand soap, gonna say, come at me, bro. Corona Dota. AC 4 0. 4 0. We didn't expect anything less. They lost a game, uh, or a round. They lost one round, so. Corona Dota with the play of the game again? Uh. Wait, is it actually an ult? Because I didn't see any good hands up ults. Uh, scatter. And, uh, and just headshots. And shot. Just headshots. Uh, scatter shots and headshots. He didn't even, he had that. Dragon Strike for the whole thing and didn't even use it. Wow. Unlucky. So pretty decisive. Yes. Uh, ASU going to semifinals. Uh, they'll get that semifinal bye. They'll play against um, 
during fi semifinals week, which would be next week. Yep. Uh, so and it is going to be the uh, semifinal bye for ASU, which means they'll play against Colorado or St no Colorado or Oregon because Oregon won over Stanford later or earlier tonight. Right, right, right. And then, and then they'll play against whoever comes out on top from Utah versus USC and UCLA. Yeah, USC, UCLA. Um, they'll be playing. What's interesting is USC versus UCLA. It seems it's going like, to be a grudge match. Yeah. But then they're going to have to play each, each other, other again, again next week. Next week. So, even, no matter who wins. It's rivalry week. Again. It's rivalry week. So we still got more titles left all the way through the end of these weekdays. So it is Tuesday. You've been watching some Overwatch. Tomorrow, more League of Legends for rivalry week. Thursday is Hearthstone. Friday is going to be Rocket League. And that means that the Saturday special broadcast is going to be live here. It's a LAN event. Uh, in California between UCLA and USC. They're playing both League of Legends and Overwatch, their regular season final week games here for Rivalry Week. Um, and what we just said, for at least Overwatch, then they'll play each other as kind of like a grudge match. Doesn't change the standings coming into playoffs, and then they'll play each other in that bracket even. To see so they're going to play each other on. a lot. Yeah. And they're going to play each other twice in a row. Uh, so no matter who wins on Saturday, it doesn't matter. Nope. It, the match, the semifinals match is what will matter. Yeah. So they don't even have to try. It. I mean, they, they should have try, to try because it's a big match. Yeah, it is a big match. It's but a it doesn't match. matter as much as their match would be on Tuesday. Or yeah. I think. Yeah, Probably. It would be on Tuesday. Yeah. Semifinals. Next Tuesday. A week from today. Semifinals. Yeah, we're getting into that postseason. Uh, and if the postseason looks anything like what we saw this evening, uh, it should be pretty good for ASU. They'll have to wait out the semifinals. So they kind of get a week to kind of watch and scout out who they're going to be playing against. Mm -hmm. um, but semifinals should be pretty explosive. Let's take a look at what happened this evening. ASU versus Arizona. It was the Territorial Cup, the duel in the desert, if you will. And they started out in that nice city of New Bonnie, Arizona State, with convincing win. Then they moved into the desert, really. It's Temple of Anubis. Another convincing win. Yeah, and then kind of we started to see the jump off the wall, jump away, and like trolling start to happen. On Li Zhang. And then <laughs> watch point Gibraltar came out and the clean sweep again. Yep. Yeah. So ASU looking really strong. I look forward to the postseason because then you'll see the best of the best, right? Right. Uh, it, it's that now we're moving into postseason. You're no longer going to see uh, teams get outclassed. It's going to be strong teams against strong teams and should be really competitive games. So join us for more tomorrow. It's going to be League of Legends. Uh, Thursday is going to be Hearthstone. Friday, Rocket League. Saturday, that special broadcast. Look out for more. Follow the social media tags here for Pacific ACG, at Pacific ACG for the Alliance of Collegiate Gamers, or even right? not just at Pacific ACG. I don't um, even know my own Twitter handles, Twitch. guys. Yeah, and of course, you can follow at University of Utah Esports here on Twitch. Um, they have a little bit more of a convoluted Twitter, but you can follow the social media links below. Uh, so yeah, join us for more action this week. The regular season concludes at the end of finals week, following the broadcast, the special broadcast this coming Saturday. Once again, tomorrow is League of Legends. So if you're ready for that title, you see me casting alongside Ben Jahadre Sorensen tomorrow for that. But that'll conclude our broadcast for the evening. Once again, my name is Jake Superman Mori. You can catch me on social media by the handle Superman Casting and, of course, supermancasting.com. Love to see you check out my content. Yeah, and you can uh, catch me as Zader on Twitch, Twitter. And that's, I mean, basically that's all you'll find me on is Twitch and Twitter. Yeah, thanks. And Overwatch, time. Kappa. Yeah, he streams a lot of Overwatch. I do stream a lot of Overwatch. You like to watch it. Other than that, you guys... Great stream today. Great fun games. Hope you guys all enjoyed it. Thanks See again you. for joining us. Have a good evening. Peace out.